Paparazzi Po, you tapped it with P Phils. What's the word, man? You know me, man. Paparazzi Platinum Plus Po, aka hundred thousand dollar bell, no gel, hundred thousand dollar watch, just watch. Come on, let's get it. Let's get it. What's Listen, up, man. Pete? Listen, man. We're not even gonna waste any time. Um, yeah, it's... I'm not gonna waste no time. All uh -huh. these niggas is racks. All of them. <laughs> all of these niggas. All these niggas be interviewing his racks. All these niggas told a little bit. I ain't tell a lie. Only told a little bit. Yeah. All these niggas is racks. All of them. Hey, Yo. Know. All right, we go. We gonna get into the the first topic. Nasty work. First topic. It just came out. Ten ninety J puts out statement and said basically saying that King Yella told. And why he's saying that is because King Yella is um, saying he's admitting that Offset is a GD, Lil Durk is a BD, and I believe six hundred breezy. BD. Yeah, snap dog, all type of shit. Yeah, same things about snap dog. Now, for me, right, just playing devil's advocate, it's kind of like it's not a crime to be in a gang, technically speaking. It might be a crime to do gang things, but it's, it's not a crime, a crime to be in a gang. You tell the police you in a gang. That's a crime. Okay, so give, give, your, pers crime. give your perspective. That's a street crime. Okay. <laughs> Yo, you, Tom, and Dick, all y'all niggas is drug dealers? Hell yeah, nigga, we all get money. You're not supposed to say that. Yeah. You're not supposed to say that. But I feel like that's a little different, though. No, you, I'm just... Speaking yeah, I know. you give it up. If the police ask you anything about another... <coughs> if you want to snitch on yourself or you want to snitch on your baby moms, that's on you. <laughs> Who snitched on their baby mom? Damn, he said it was her gun. You're not supposed N to talk. Yeah. Yo, it's registered to her name, all of that. You knew that when you took the gun outside. Yeah. That still don't mean that you tell them it's her gun, now she get hit with the charge for buying a gun for a convicted felon. Now, so how do you handle, how, do, how should he have handled he that situation? Just shut the fuck up and let them niggas figure it out. Gotcha. That's what you're supposed to do, period, when you do a crime. You're yeah. not supposed to ask for a phone call, you're not supposed to ask for your mother, you're not supposed to ask for a <laughs> pen in the pad, you're not supposed to say, hey, officer, can I talk to you? None of that. Yeah. You go in the bullpen, you get the government cheese, you get the water. And you get it on with all your ops in the pen. Now, you got time to talk to the police. Now look at this. If it's if it's licensed to her, let's just say it's licensed to her, right? Yeah. And you just saying, let, let's say he driving her car, it's licensed to her. He just like, yo, this is her gun. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She probably telling him, yo, in the event that you get caught up, just say it's my gun, whatever the case may be. Is that different or does it still fall in the same? It's different because they already agreed to that. Okay. She probably got woke up out of her sleep by the police. <laughs> she ain't know. Yeah. And if, if it's your gun, bitch, you, why are you not in the car with me? That's how you're supposed to do that. Mm. If I'm riding around with my bitch and yeah. the gun is registered in her name, she need to be in the car too. Got you. That's the only way it's legal. Yeah. Even though he's a fella. But she could also, she could just say, yo, I just met this nigga, we had a baby, I ain't know you been in jail before. Yeah. Like, you feel me? She could get around that. But you saying her name, Dirk name, everybody name, like, you just talk too much. Like, he's a tattletaller. We're not going to call him a snitch. Yeah. Right? So we're going to downsize it a little bit. He's a tattletaller. <laughs> he told them everything they wanted to know. He didn't say no comments and not one question. Right or wrong? From what I've seen, he it He didn't even like... say no comments and not one question. Yo, is Lil Durk a BD? Nigga, I don't fucking know. That's what you gotta say. Mm. Nigga, I don't fucking know. Yo, and that's my question. Why are they asking people about other people's affiliation? Hmm. That's the question. Ah, see, look, you put yourself in the trick bag. Mm. Why did they bring up all that stuff? Because he got caught with a gun. Clearly, it's a piece of that conversation missing. You feel like there's more he to it? He probably told them, yo, I, I, I could off. I, I can help y'all. <laughs> too far. Nah. I'm so going you, too far? What you is, think so? Hold how on. How the fuck does the Las Vegas police know about 600 Breezy in the mall? How do they know about Lil Dirk? What incident did, did King Yella and Dirk ever have? It's never been an incident. It's, it's never been a run-in. It's never been an argument. It's never even been an acknowledgement. Yeah. He's a goofy to Dirk. Dirk don't even acknowledge him. Yeah. So how did police even know anything about Dirk? Where so they come from? I'm going to give a little pushback here. All right. Maybe They're, he's a fan. The, the police, maybe he's a fan of his music. Nah, it's like... Even though he never had a high song. We don't need a... <laughs> we know King Yellow for talking, right? I know him for his interviews. All right. Name a King Yellow song. Come on. Don't do that. Is he a rapper? 
He got the song. I I got you. I got you. He got the song "Famous Rats." And now he's a famous rat. He's a famous rat now, right? According to what is they trying to make it look like? It's not what they trying to make it look like. It's what it looks like. (laughs) What does it look like to you? Did it look like he was talking too much? I felt like I'm being so real. I didn't think that yo. It's not a crime to be in a gang. So I'm looking at it like yo. You're a civilian. Absolutely, yeah. That's why you think like that. Okay, so you feel like somebody being in the streets, the the mindset has to be different. All right, so now let me ask you a question, right? So you see you got the old block indictment going on, right? Yeah. And before that, they had other indictments, right? Yeah. And most of these indictments is based upon the black disciples, right? Okay. So if you tell the police that this nigga is in that game that they're investigating... You're 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 confirming to them that this nigga's in the game. Gotcha. So you putting him in any conspiracy that has to do with six hundred, or you putting Dirk in any conspiracy that has to do with OTF. They're gonna use your statement yeah. as proof that that nigga's in the game. Why you think Dirk put? I'm Muslim. I'm not yeah. in the game. Yeah, I seen it right after. <laughs> oh, cause they're watching him already. Yeah. Why would you say that, my man? Yeah. It's it's it's, it's nothing that he could say that's gonna make like. He's not a rat because a rat to me is a person who tells on their friend or somebody that they agreed to do a crime with. Okay. And because that person got off in a better position than them, they go cooperate. That's a rat to me. Okay. So King Yella is King Teller. He's a title teller. <laughs> Does this have anything to do told with them everything they wanted to know? He didn't even say no comment on one question. He didn't even cough. <coughs> Hold on real quick. <coughs> yeah. Nothing. <laughs> he didn't say I don't know to no question. Yeah. He answered everything like a civilian. Man, you know it is crazy because And he only had four bullets in his gun. Get the fuck out of here. That really was that girl gun. I bet you it was. Because <laughs> how the fuck you got four bullets in the gun, you a gang member. What you gonna do with that? When when you come from niggas got thirties and switches. Switches. The yeah. fuck you was doing with that little ass gun that it fit in your pants. And how did you get caught with that gun? You should have boofed the gun. You're already a faggot. You should have put the gun up your ass. Wait, why you call him that he for? He Little J. You forgot he told the story a million times. Oh, we was man. high off X pills and Little J kissed me. Nigga, that means you gay. He kissed you and you ain't beat him up. You ain't kill him. You're supposed to be killers, savages. A nigga kiss you on the mouth. He ain't dead. Get the fuck out of here. You like that shit. Hold on. He liked that shit. He My, told He told. He that. told this story on Cam Capone News. He told the story on No Jumper. He told the story anytime somebody put a camera in his face and asked him about Lil J. I ain't gonna lie, Lil J is a punk. He he got high off the X pill and kissed me. Ha 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 ha. Big doofy goofy ass nigga. Ha 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 ha. Lil J kissed me. He didn't do nothing about it. Now that means you liked it. With Lil J, I right, he's now nah, he's a straight faggot. He's a, <laughs> he is something that listen. He's in something called the Gizu Club. You know it's the Gizu Club? Nah. All right, you ever walk past a club and it was like <laughs> black curtains, like you can't see in the club? Yeah. Yeah, that's the Gizu Club. Oh, they man. Want nobody to know what's going on now, here. Now, see, you've been around them, right? You've been yes, around Yella, Jay, and all that. Have you ever seen certain things like that taking place? Like Gizu play? Club activity? Yeah, like things that... Nah, I ain't okay. seen no Gizu Club activity. I'm going to be real with you because I would have never been hanging with them no more. A long time ago. Gotcha. I never seen no Gizu Club activities, right? Yeah. But I did see King Yella mess with little girls. Mm. Like, girls that was mad young that I felt like, mm, I don't know. She she kind of looks like she's 14. Paul, this is a, this is a, I'm being a heavy thing that you're saying right I'm now. I'm being honest. And maybe she was 21. Yeah. But she looked young to me. So that led me to believe maybe that's what he liked. When this came out, that came in my head, like, damn, he was fucking with some little young ass bitch with like green hair. She Come on, like, Paul, you little. can't do that. You can't do that. If you I don't know that she's listen, I can't young, do that you... because I don't know how old she is. Yeah, but she looked like a little girl, so clearly he liked little girls. If it... I can't fuck with no bitch that looked like my little sister, like you got a flat chest, you got a flat butt, you look like you're fourteen. Yeah, like no, I can't. Oh, I'm gonna look man. even if you're 28. I'm gonna still be like this bitch looks like a little ass girl. I I know what you mean. There's some women that's kind of like, nah, you look way too young. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I I understand what you're I saying. I need her, but 
As far as but that, but like, he you can't call him that. I called him a pedophile because he got arrested for that. He got convicted for that. You yeah. can look it up yourself. His yeah, name is yeah. Simone Lewis. Yeah, nah. Look, look it up yourself. He he admitted he went live with his son next to him, and no disrespect to his son. Yeah. But he went live with his son next to him, and he said, "Fuck out of here! Everybody in the hood fuck young bitches. That ain't nothing new. Everybody do it. Just cause I'm me, cause it's me, cause I'm King Yellow. Fuck out of here! I'll fuck a young bitch again." No, he did it. No, he did it. No, he did it. <laughs> no, he did it. I'm not. Yo, I'm gonna have to see that to believe that, man. All right, hold up. If I if I show it to you, you gonna put it in the clip? I could do that. Yeah. All right, back. So oh we on. man, we on then. Oh. That shit is on the internet right now. Fuckers, you talking about at 19? We was ball. We balling. Young bitches in the hood. Fuck you talking about that's fucking and sucking, bitch. Automatic, your little ass hot. Folks up, busting you down. Bitch, I'm busting you down too, nigga. Y'all know what's going on. I gave it to y'all in the raw, nigga. Fuck are you talking about, nigga? I was 19, probably fucking your sister, nigga. So a nigga 19 and a bitch 15, a nigga bogus, knock it the fuck off, nigga. Y'all lucky I ain't 19 right now. I will be fucking your daughter, your daughter, your daughter, your daughter, your daughter, your daughter, your daughter. Your sister, your sister, your sister, your granddaughter, your granddaughter. Whoever don't like what I'm talking about don't break. Unsubscribe, stop following. The fuck is you talking about, nigga? You know what's crazy? And I bet you you're going to agree with me when right. I say this. Think about when we was in junior high school, yeah. high school. You couldn't even... It's shorties. They was talking to the college dude. They Dudes was pulling up in cars. We got bikes at that time. Everybody was doing it, yeah. He, that and was the culture. And that's why he think it's okay. Damn. But by but the law is the law is the law. Word. So he a pedophile, he gay, and he a rat. Close Damn. case. I'll never speak to him again. I'll never hang with him again. I'm sorry to my fans and to New York that I affiliated myself with a lot of bozo niggas from Chicago. Damn. He's definitely one of them. Do you? Because you can't get rat, pedophile, and snitch on your name. You yeah. you gotta be one of them. Yeah. And Damn. and you've been arrested for it. Like, I know niggas that got arrested for rape that really didn't rape nobody. Yeah. Right? But they want, that means that you wouldn't be convicted or you wouldn't cop out. Nah, don't You got to do fight that. No, DNA, nah. show me my nut in this bitch. Nah, you can't what say you that. Mean? You nah, can't say rape that. is rape. Nigga, they're going to do a rape kit. When you, if she, if she say, yo, paparazzi pole rape me, yeah. they're going to take her, do a rape kit, find my semen, yeah. and I'm going to go to jail for that. Even if she really gave me pussy willingly. Yes. All right then. However, so the same way it's easy to prove it, yeah. it's easy to prove that you didn't do it. No, five. you can't do that. Cause what? you have cause I'll give you a case right now. Okay. Central five. What? Central, Central five, five? five. Them they, boys ain't do they nothing. They never had DNA either. You said what? They DNA wasn't found in that lady. It wasn't, exactly. but they did the time for it. You could still be caught up with the that. Technology back then ain't like that. <laughs> now, how long did that happen? Since you part five. They I believe it. In, I believe it in the eighties or nineties. Oh, they have no fucking rape Yo, kids. come on, man. They, didn't they didn't have no TV when that happened. Man. What I'm saying they is like you, 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 the sad part is I do think there's some innocent people. And those people. niggas came home, and guess what's not on their jacket? Nah. Rape conviction. You know, I think that's one of those cases that never leaves you. Beat it or not, it never leaves you. Bro, listen. I just never want that. I, I don't, don't even talk I about it. That you, you don't know? want that, right? Yeah. I understand <laughs> that you feel. Like, even if a nigga beat it, that's your opinion. I'm telling you that you won't be able to Google me as a rapist. You're right. Because I got convicted for it. You're right. All right then. But if in I your neighborhood, in your I'm neighborhood, you shot in your neighborhood. They don't shoot niggas for nothing no more. True. King Yellow going to still be King Yellow. Ain't nobody going to care about no rape or... Yeah. Of, all these things been out and he's still around. Like, yeah. For 1090 Jake even investigate him that means he felt he was important enough to look into him i wonder why yo because they because when 1090 jake got exposed for being a rap yellow was he <laughs> and posting it and doing all that just like mm -hmm. me now 1090 i'm glad you brought up 1090 jake his situation do you consider that a rat being him being a rat it was a grievance right yeah is that is that right you know listen if I want to talk to the police. I'm going to say yeah. this again. Right? If I want to talk to the police, I need to only speak about me. I can't say Joe Blow hit John Doe with a lock 
and I got hit by accident, so I had to defend myself. Yeah. You're not supposed to say that. You're not supposed to say that. I, so if he's not a rat, because that was not his co-defendant, that was not his friend. That yeah, was a nigga but, who, uh, who assaulted him. Gotcha. So he cooperated. His his uh, defense was that it was done right in front of the CEO's face. He had seen it already. So why can't he just say that? Let me tell you why. I got cut in the Elmira prison on camera Yeah. right in front of the bubble. And the nigga who cut me ain't go to the box with me. I went to the box because I ain't tell on them, even though they seen it. Yeah. All right, then. There goes your proof. Don't say nothing. Hold on. Hold on. Let, let, let's look at the situation here, though. Don't say nothing. Hold on, hold on. Don't hold talk on. to the police about nothing but the clinic, <laughs> your court date, <laughs> if a legal visit. Yeah. That's all you need to be told. Hold on, hold on. Look. The phone this is, is not working, CO. That's it. This is the CO right here. Mm-hmm. Somebody pops pops it off on you right here. It happened right in front of the CEO. Right the CEO now, when was you go in the chair just like me. Yeah. He now the whole thing. Now when you go into the office, yo, Po, what happened? Even though this same CEO just seen what happened, you have that's, to. First of all, that CEO ain't gonna ask you what happened because okay. that CEO got to write the report on what he seen. Okay. And he don't got to talk to you about what he seen. Yeah. So scratch that. You gotta give me another example. Come on, but that's that's that's, that's not what happened. You don't get interviewed by the same officer who watched the fight. That officer has the right. Yeah. I, come on, bro. He, nah, I feel you. I feel you. The he's saying got to write what he's seen, and the captain yeah. and the administrator are gonna sit you down in the room and say, "Ten ninety Jake, what happened?" Yeah. And it's gonna be the officer who was their statement, everybody else's statement against yours. Gotcha. That's how that goes. Gotcha. Not the officer that. Seen it ain't going to be the one questioning you because he's seen it. Yeah. So that's cat. Damn. So you feel like... I know it. I've been in jail. I don't yeah. care if he was in Florida. I don't care if he, where he was at. Yeah. The officer... That's like the arresting officer interrogating you. That doesn't happen. The arresting officer brings you in the precinct. They put you in a the cell. Then they call you out. They take your picture, they fingerprint you if they charge you with something. Yeah. If they not, then you sit in the cell all night until the D's come, and then the D's take you in the room and ask you questions. Gotcha. It's never the arresting officer or the officer on the scene. Yeah. It doesn't never happen like that. So the same officer who's seen it is the same officer who... <laughs> how, how the fuck is the field officer a grievance officer? That don't even make sense. Yeah. The officer that's in the dorm watching us while we cut each other... It's not the same officer who works in the grievance when I'm trying to sue the, the fucking jail or whatever I'm trying to do. Yeah. Whatever he was trying to do. I say 1090 Jake, you should have just never said nothing. I don't care. If you're a gangster, don't put what you put in a grievance for what? If unless you're being malnourished, yeah. And they're not feeding you, they held you, something like that. They stopped your visits. That's the only way. Like shit like that. That's what you put a grievance in for. Yeah. It's not to get out of a situation or to get a lawsuit. Like, all that shit is a form of telling. Like, for me, like, if I write, if I wrote a, a, a statement about what a nigga did to me, bro, I told him that, man. Yeah. Under any circumstances, I'm not supposed to say that. It's like, it's, and, and again, there's another gang member, so he knows better. Gotcha. His gotcha. gang only accept him because he got a lot of money. Yeah. And, I, like, he, he played with my pops one time, so... Is that I why you feel? Him. Is that no, why you feel? Nah, this that's not why I feel like that. I I already expressed this before. Like, put yeah. it like this. I right, I did my interview with No Jumper, right? Yeah. He reposted the interview on his story, uh -huh. and says some shit like, "The legendary rat son," or, okay. um, "His father is a legendary rat," right? Or yeah. some shit like basically taking shots at me. Yeah. Cause. You could see the interview not like me or not agree with anything I'm doing and just, that's your opinion. Yeah. But when you go as far as taking the video, reposting it, putting it in your story and putting it how you feel, then it's an issue there. You know why I think people do it and it's not to offend you? I think he's because... He's trying to get me down with everybody else. He think that he's going to look cool for that. You know what it is too? They feel like people want you, it seems like people want you to hate him as much as they do or dislike him as much as they dislike him. For what he did. And they feel like because you still, uh, I guess, champion him and sing his praises, now they feel like, I right, so you condoning it. Which, it's not to say you are, but they feel like they want you to hate him. You see, I think China Mac 
Because I think China Mac has a similar story too. His father told, mm -hmm. but China Mac doesn't doesn't respect his father. But also, I, I had this conversation with somebody. I was like, it's a little different though. But China Mac's father abandoned him too. So it's kind of like that's his problem. That could be the problem too. I ain't have that problem. I yeah, know it's mm, yeah. So what do you say to the people when they like when they feel that you should dislike him as much as they do because of what he did being that you was in the streets before? I'm gonna tell them they are day room. When you are a kid <laughs> and you growing up, you know what yeah. your mother and your father tell you? Yeah. It's this whole family against everybody outside. Yeah. Don't let nobody play with nobody in this house. So if you have a gay brother and a nigga yeah. teases him from being gay, we're gonna jump. Yeah. These people who's playing with my gay brother. Yeah. Right? <laughs> if I got a brother that's not like that and he cooperated with the police for whatever reason, <laughs> I'm gonna defend him. This is my gotcha. brother. This is how I was taught in my house. In my yeah. house, it was no matter what, it's us against the world. Gotcha. So I would never condemn or let nobody play with nobody in my family for no reason. Gotcha. Snitching, none of that. Like, I don't care what the reason. You, you just. Especially not in my face. Yeah. Like you're not gonna play like, yo. You're not gonna say yo. Where your snitch ass brother at? Yeah. Without man. me punching you in your mouth. You can't say that to yeah. me. Gotcha. So that's why I say to people like, what I say to people is like, yo, be yourself. Like you wanna keep following these imaginary codes and rules or yeah. whatever you think you living by, but your family, your real family, should come before your gang. It should come before your name. It should come before all of that. Your family name is more important than any gang you repping. Yeah. If all our ass name is Williams, nigga, we the Williams family, nigga. Yeah. What we do as the Williams family is our fucking business. Yeah. And anybody who's a threat to anybody in this family, we will defend our family. You you gonna you gonna say yo? I'm not helping my brother because he pussy. Yeah. Gotcha. You gonna help him, right? But you know what people gonna say, and, it, and it's not to offend you. They gonna be right. like, if the name, if the name is important, if the family name is important. All right, let me give you an example. Mm -hmm. I'm Haitian. So in yeah. Haiti, like back in the days, not now, things mm -hmm. are different. Back in the days, my parents would be like, yo, if somebody in your family steals, mm -hmm. yo, the entire family gets disowned. Like in that in that area, mm -hmm. they look at that family like, yo, yo you're dirt. Like people won't marry women from that family. Mm -hmm. uh, men cannot marry women from outside family. So I say that to say like, if they people will say, I right, if the name matters so much, then somebody telling messes up the name of the family, does that how do you feel about that? I'm gonna tell them that in my family, yeah, we never had a conversation of if anybody <laughs> snitching here, you out the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never I heard my mother say, if you gay nigga, you out the family. Yeah. And I got gay people in my family and we all still be together. Gotcha. My mother ain't really put them in the street. She was just threatening yeah, them. She was just talking, yeah. Like most parents do. Exactly. Yeah, I yeah. never had the conversation of, oh, if your brother snitch, you can't help him or you're not supposed to defend him. Yeah. Y'all using this as a way to attack me. That's why I'm responding. Yeah, gotcha. gotcha. So they look past that part. Y'all using this as a way to attack me. Yeah. Talking about, oh, you a mouse because your father's a rat. That's not real. That's just yeah, yeah, something yeah, yeah. that a nigga named Meek Mill, who's not really a street nigga, said. Yeah. And it sounded cool. Yeah. Because it was like a metaphor, right? Yeah. Your, your father's a rat, you're a mouse. He yeah. said that, he made that term popular, now everybody says it to me. Yeah. Oh, you're a mouse. See, I don't like when people say that neither, because it's kind of like, what does... They justify it by saying, oh, you condoning with Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. But I'm really not condoning with it. I'm not. Because when the hood gave me the name Young Poe, they was condoning it. Why did y'all name me after him? Mm. When everybody was running around claiming a gang called Paid and Full Gunners, that was in the name of him. Yeah. Why y'all mad about it now? Because it ain't cool for me to be Alpo's son right now. Yeah. Because he came home smacking niggas and violating niggas. Yeah. But before he got out the feds, niggas was carrying me around because I was Alpo's son. Yeah. So this is why I don't want to hear it. Because y'all was supposed to beat me up for this back then. When <laughs> I first heard the rumor, I was supposed to have been condemned. I, I should have never been able to join a gang, nigga. Yeah. Fuck is you talking about? If y'all considered me that, <laughs> I shouldn't never be able point. to hang yeah. with y'all niggas. Yeah, I see your point. <laughs> if y'all considered me that, but no, what it is is it's a nigga like Meek Mill. I'm gonna use that example. A nigga that's more 
popular and have more richer than me in the music industry yeah. saying it. Yeah, so everybody's running with that of now. Of course, because they want to be Meek Mill. Everybody got the same chain structures as him. Niggas was following me. Meek gotcha. is one of them trendsetters. Gotcha. No, for real, he's one of the trendsetters. <laughs> he was one of the first niggas to wear a purse too, right? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know nothing. It's your job. You're a journalist. Yo. <laughs> you don't know nothing. How I'm going to know who was the first rapper to win the purse? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man. No, my God, Paul, man. Seen, you. He never seen the picture, right? Because it was just a couple of viral pictures that everybody going to be able to relate when I yeah. see it. When he was kissing Nikki feet, when his clothes started getting tighter, <laughs> And he started wearing scarves and purses. Niggas were saying, yo, Nicki made me gay. <laughs> what the fuck happened to me, right? And then me came to my block and Jim and them niggas gave him his sauce back. Yeah. That's what happened. Now he dressed like us now. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. Me was going yo. all the way young thug on him. You know he what I feel? He was almost there. Now I I, I remember and I think I think um Nikki yeah, started posting Louis it too. Purse. When they was going at it, yes. Nikki was posting it. Yeah, and the big Louis Pop book yeah. like hush it. Yeah. yeah. But you the know jump off. he was like this. Yo, you know, I don't know. I see that a lot of people, once the celebrities start just getting money, getting I more took famous. A first too. You ain't see that? Um, you purse. had it over like this. What did uh what's his name? And they made mad fun of me. Yes. Right? And it yes. was super viral, right? Yes. Shouts to Pop Vasquez. Yes, yes, yes. That's I was, my man. Yeah. But he's like, yo, bro, this fucking picture is funny, bro. Yeah, Both yeah. You. Like, he DM me and all that. Like, yo, bro, I'm about to go so crazy on you. Yeah. Because you got the, chip, the leopard print. Like, you got the leopard print on your neck. <laughs> like, you just overdoing it. Like, you, just, you, you, you just hardcore. Like, yeah. what they called me, the um, spicy shooter. <laughs> <laughs> I am a spicy shooter, though. I'm spicy. Like, everybody had to tell you that. Like, I'm oh, spicy, man. Like, but not in that way. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be spicy, too, like. I'm, so I got the electric, the lightning bolt on my shit. I'm staticky, like I'm spicy. Oh, so man. I took that as a compliment. Shout out to Pop Vasquez. Shout out Pop Vasquez. Yeah, and it was funny, though, right? Nah, he did good. He did good. Funny. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. It was super duper funny. Word. Now, let's talk FBG Butter. What's up, man? Um, A couple of days ago, I believe it was Monday. I think what? Monday. You took the stand or some shit? He's basically confirming murders. But it's some dead people. It's like, who killed K.I.? The person that killed K.I. is dead. Who killed O.D. Perry? The person that killed O.D. Perry is dead. He's just kind of confirming everything. Mm -hmm. Now, these people are dead. They are deceased. Mm -hmm. And he basically saying, when he was he was arguing with 16 about it, he like, you know, he was kind of spazzing on him. Like, yo, bro, don't play with me. I'm not there. I'm not a rat. I'm not this. I'm, I'm not that. Many people tell on um, dead people and all that. It doesn't make it right, though. Mm. It doesn't make it right because a lot of people do it. Because yeah. if that's the case, that's true. If that's the case. A lot of people tell too. A lot of a lot people of... in the Gizzle clubs. A lot yeah, of yeah, yeah. On the DL. Yeah. A lot of people fucking. So. So I don't think it's right as yeah. you tell. Period. But I feel like him cooperating and then changing his life as as part of the process. I feel like. He he transitioned into civilian mode, Got but it. he won't. He 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 on some shit like, but I'm not gonna let y'all violate. I'm, I still I'm still okay. butter at the end of the day. Like I'm yeah. still gonna get busy if y'all niggas feel like y'all wanna clown me. Gotcha. But yo, this the route I'm going. Yeah. Like so, do I think it's right? No, I don't think it's right. Like I said earlier, talk to the police. If you decide to do that, just talk about yourself. Yeah. Right. So from what I seen. He said he got granted immunity, right? Yeah. I think so. So if he got granted immunity, that means Some one of those murders, he was a part of it. Probably. Probably, right? But he's saying no. That's what he's supposed he, to say. He, he got granted yeah. immunity for it. He's saying KVD got granted immunity for the Tupac murder and he kept saying two, he killed Tupac and look what happened. Mm -hmm. Same situation. KVD's crazy. He's never gonna admit to anything that he got immunity for because that's what they told him. Like, don't we don't ever want to hear you speak about this. Yeah. He's doing the right thing under the act of 
yeah, I got immunity for certain crimes. I'm not supposed to be talking about it. Yeah. I'm going to deny it. Just like you said, or oh, I, I denied that King Vaughn killed K.I. because I was mad that y'all was praising him so yeah. much. Yeah. And then now he's saying he did. It's the same shit. Now, I he asked... Couldn't, he couldn't say that he did all this time until the trial was over. Gotcha. I asked um somebody, if you did a murder... Mm-hmm. And you passed away, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And your friend got booked. Let, let's say you and somebody did a murder and you passed away. I asked the person, would you be okay with that person saying, yo, man, Poe did it. And Poe's deceased now, obviously. Mm -hmm. That's not what happened, but mm -hmm. hypothetically speaking, would you be okay with that? Somebody I mean, thought about I'm dead okay. already, so yeah. it doesn't even matter if I'm right with it or not. Yeah. But would I do it? Yeah. Probably not. Yeah. Just me. Yeah, no, nah, I feel you. Just I feel me. you. You take me back a little bit. Yeah. Cause I see that you focusing on the old block trial, but you you not focusing on that stuff that he actually did talk to the police about. Ah, come right? on. But right. we don't know that stuff. No, yes we do, because we have videos, right, of butter after incident after incident. Yeah. He's giving an incident report, right? Yes. And he asked him what happened. And he said, my code D sent some niggas to jump me because I won't sign the after David. Mm. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, if he told them that and Little J was alive. Yeah. If he told them that, then... How much more? To me, it's like, that's just what you do. Like, you just be telling. Dang. And I, I even gonna lie, I fuck with Butter Music. Yeah. Right? But, I gotta disown a lot of these GD niggas that I was affiliated with. You heard? Because these niggas is do-bads. Like, yeah. all of them. Like, all these niggas got some type of rat, pedophile, or gay rumors. Like, all of these niggas. Like, it's yeah. probably a handful that don't. And shout outs to them. Yeah. But, like, a majority of the niggas you see me with, like, they all got rat rumors, yeah. <laughs> fake paperwork. You can't, look, real paperwork, fake paperwork, listen, you can't even find fake paperwork on me. Yeah. But they see, always call me a rat. Yeah. But these niggas actually talk to the police, and y'all be letting them justify why they said something when they had the right to remain silent. See, you know... Now that brings me to Billionaire Black. How did y'all fall out, bro? How we fell out was because yeah. um, Billionaire Black like to keep friends that I'm not fond of. Gotcha. So it just became conflicting. Okay. Like, how how much of my man are you if you hang out with a lot of niggas that want to do something to me or conspire or whatever? They act yeah. like they want to or like, or I got into altercations with them. Me yeah. and you, we supposed to be all the way locked in. Yeah. I seen him put new niggas before me. And I don't understand that. Like, in situations where we should have jumped a nigga, yeah. he let us fight. Mm. In situations where niggas called him before they did something to me, he ain't tell me. Oh. Like, it's, it's shit like that. Like, you, you affiliate yourself with people who don't want to see me prosper. You know, For whatever gotta, reason. you know I gotta ask, is the people the people from extortion gang? Nah, um, nah, it's not even just extortion Cause, gang like Cause I seen you going at like, I seen you going at it with something. Alright, so extortion <laughs> gang is just a bunch of goofy niggas that they just follow on behind him. Like all these niggas is nobodies. Like everybody in extortion gang is nobody. Like they just behind him. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's just cruel. Whatever. But I hope that they become something. <laughs> Right? No, I do. Because I used to want to help them. Like, I used to try to put my little input, whether they took it or not. Yeah, yeah. You know? Like, I, I wanted to see that brand flourish. Yeah, like, especially after Rest in Peace Duck passed away, it was like, all right, we need to make an impact. Yeah. Let's show these niggas that this shit ain't over. So, you know what I'm saying? I was rooting for that team. I was actually a part of that team at one point in time until it was just a lot of creative players. Like, it's probably like, one or two niggas in EG that's, like, I, I got respect for them as a man. Yeah. But the rest of them, 
a bunch of random niggas who paid him for so much features that he hired them. <laughs> Gangster, look at them. They all shapes and sizes. What they all mean? different colors. They all from different backgrounds. Like, <laughs> it's a whole biracial group. Like, got a white nigga with dreads. Yeah. Like, there's all types of shit going on. Who, who was the dude you was going back and forth with on the gram? It was something about... um The Little Sneak? You said what? I said The Little Sneak? Yes. Oh. That's good in there, cousin. He just... Some goofy nigga. I've never seen him. Like, I used to be with him in Chicago. I've never seen him. But, you know, mm -hmm. when, when we made the migration to Arizona, he came. And we used to... Dad, like We was fucking with each other at first, but... I think he probably dropping a mixtape or something, so he wanted to troll me. Like, he liked to keep saying shit about my father. Like, on Halloween, he posted my father, like, oh, fuck Alpo, we smoking mm -hmm. him. Um, rest in peace, Rich Porter. Like, you not even from New York. You don't know Rich family. Like, you just dick riding. Just like you was dick riding me because who my father is. Like, it's just now that I don't want to help you and I'm not on your side, now it's like, oh, let's talk shit about him. But these, yeah. all these niggas used to hang with me. Like, I think he used to live in my house, all that. Like, these niggas, like, I don't take them serious, bro. You feel gotcha. me? Like, like, I'm good with that shit. Like, I don't even live out there no more. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm good with that shit. Gotcha. But, Damn. Niggas Damn. just butt. Niggas but yeah, just playing with me on the internet and they butt. Yeah. They never do nothing to nobody. All Damn. them niggas do is get caught with mad guns and always come home. And they all felons. I'm scared of them niggas. I don't want no problems. Them niggas made them niggas made me move out of Arizona. You see where I'm at, right? <laughs> niggas made them niggas packed me up. Yo, 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 I took it on, yo, I took that shit on the hop. Yo, these niggas telling and shooting. Nah, nah, I'm good. I don't want nothing to do with oh, that. Oh man. So before when when billionaire black was doing that, right? He's taking other people's side over over he's yours. He's not really taking a side, but he's still kind of like he's too neutral. He's still he's too neutral for me for yeah. my liking. Yeah. Like, I. Gotcha. You understand? Like, you ever told him, like, yo, bro, if we. I did. To I just wowed him up the other day. I just FaceTimed him the other day. We just all arguing, saying, he's saying, oh, I really know certain shit about my situation. And yeah. I told him, yo, I apologize for telling really what I think happened to you. Gotcha. For me? Um, what else is your problem with me? One of them said, I don't like their pictures. I don't share their music. No. Like, it was just like, it was, it was, it was like, I was like, damn, like, y'all niggas got on the phone with me and want to argue with me. And the reason is because I don't like your stuff or I don't comment or I don't post. Like, I'm a kind of nigga and I just want to say this broad and niggas can take it how they want it. If I don't like your song. Yeah. I will not post that record unless you literally reach out to me and be like, Yo, Paul, you can share this with me? Gotcha. For me? Gotcha. Then I will go and, because you my man, I'm going to just share it. Post it, yeah. But if I don't like a song, which I don't like none of their songs. Yeah. None of them. Like, I don't, I, I, that shit is just a waste of time. <laughs> like, I, just, I just want them to get behind. There's them. no music of theirs that you like. Do you like any EG music? Yo, come on, man. Stop. Name man. one song from them. And I, look, I'm turning them up now because nobody know them in New York. So thank me. <laughs> He's going to probably interview one of y'all bum niggas right after this. Nah, I don't know. I don't know, man. They can't even afford to come to New York, so you probably won't. <laughs> Yo. Niggas is pop. Niggas. But nah, so after this. After niggas wearing. Oh, I ain't even going to go there. Wearing what? Go ahead. You better. Know. <laughs> you know me. I'm a bum. I wear fake Mary's, fake jewelry. Like, so I can't be talking, right? Nah. See how you feel. <laughs> I don't got no money, right? I be running around with butter bumps. Yo. I'm broke, nigga. Look. You know, that's money. what they going to say. I think people just going to say that because they want to rise out of you. They want to. You they feel me? Panic, right? That's it. Probably. Nah. All right. Everybody in this is butt. Shout out to those butt niggas. And they being Professor X. Who's Professor? Ah, oh, come on, come on. He was once your friend. He's still my friend to me. Did he get shot or did he? How did he? How did that happen to his leg? You got to interview him if you ever seen. Okay. I can't tell you that I wasn't there. I I would be straight lying, and everybody always want to yeah. say everything about anything I say. So okay. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you a story. Yeah, I got you. Cause. I don't know, and I was not there. But yeah. I know, right, that one of the pussy niggas that be with him told Riley the story. Yeah. And the the and 
that nigga told a different story than Billionaire told me. And he was there. Gotcha. So I don't know what happened. Like, honestly. I just know that he broke his legs and any day now he's gonna be back walking and moving around regular. Hopefully. Okay. okay. Gotcha. Right now he Professor X though. <laughs> but in a few days he'll be alright. He, he gonna be ex he gonna be Wolverine in a few days. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he ever got a haircut. That nigga can't even get a haircut. Yo, man. <laughs> nigga got a nigga beard is off the hair. Yo, I bet. Trenches news, man. Oh, Goofy Buddy with the mask? That's my man. I like Trenches news, but he wild out. Yo. He hardcore. How long he was working with the feds? I think they said 2008 or 2010. I ain't doing nothing that long that ain't paying me. Yo, they said they paid a lot of fucking years. But I heard he said it's it's false, but they say in 25,000 he was paid. I believe that. He that look at the nigga. If you look at Trenches News, look, Trenches News, and listen, I don't know you, but I'm just going off what I think. Yeah. It's in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. I think he's a crackhead. I think he's a recovering addict. I think that he used to be a crackhead, <laughs> and now he's not on crack no more. But I heard his girlfriend is a crackhead, so he's probably oh, still a crackhead. Man. But if you know, you know. Like, the feds is not going to give a crackhead mad money. They don't have yeah. to. Them niggas yeah. will settle for anything. Yeah. And that's kind of probably what I think he did. Damn. Now, I just think he's funny. Like, the Trenches News is just funny to me. He's a, he's a good entertainer, but as far as, like, his... These niggas with their street credibility on yeah. YouTube, which you need to throw out the window once you start YouTube. But yeah. niggas still be trying to be gangster and YouTubers are. Right. I ain't no goofy ass blogger, but you blogging. So it's like, you yeah, are yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like, yo, at, at the end of the day, I do feel like pick one, but. I do feel like that. Because <sighs> you could never really ask me questions from a clear mind if you were criminal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you can't give me no real good advice. Yeah. Like, but why? Nah, you so you feel like I think criminals could give some good advice. You feel me? I mean, let me so let me take let me retract that statement. Look. I feel like you can't really understand a criminal if you're not a criminal. Gotcha. Now, if you're a criminal, right, and you interview on a criminal, I don't think that you'll be able to interview a criminal better than a civilian can. Yeah. Cause because they're more the civilian is way more curious. Yeah, way more curious. And they way more like interested in certain shit. Yeah. So M I'm, I'm gonna take that part back and I'm gonna put it. Put gotcha. This on yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Now him, he's saying that he's not into the telling and all that. However, for Duck, his friend Duck. Duck was his friend. Why well, I don't know Trench's news. He is saying when that... When was he hanging out with Duck? When I left? When I stopped going to Chicago? Because I, I heard he was from O Block. I heard he was from... Um, 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 what's that shit called? What, Low Ends? Yeah, some shit about that. I forgot. I forgot where he was from. Okay. Newtown. Newtown or some shit. I don't know. It's in the yeah. newspaper. He said he was a BD from Newtown who migrated to O Block. Then he got into an issue with niggas in O Block. He started hanging with the 63rd niggas. And then he... The, he got into it with the 63rd niggas and he said fuck them and that's how he created his channel because what I heard that he started off making videos like the fall of yeah. FBG like basically saying that they was done man that's what that's what I heard honestly I really just kind of like got hip to Trenches news yeah like maybe like last year I didn't know that he was out that long but he's definitely fucking funny like he's funny like, yeah, but so the so the FBG Duck relationship, you never seen that? With him? Yeah. No. But I seen pictures. Okay. I seen pictures. So there was some form of a relationship there, right? It probably was, but I'm just saying like I don't think it was a relationship big enough for him to voluntarily cooperate against some niggas that's supposed to have killed him. Like yeah. how much of a relationship you gotta have to do that? <laughs> His mother probably. Yeah. <laughs> so you was that close to him? Let me ask you this. Cause Butter I, was really close to him. That's yeah. why he doing that. That was his man. Yeah. That was the first nigga who allowed him back around even with the snitch allegations. So that's why he's going so hard for Duck. Gotcha. I know this. Gotcha. Same way how another nigga that he put a blanket on that snitch before love him to death too. You know I gotta ask. There's a couple of niggas that 
got snitch allegations on a name that Duck embraced. There's a couple of them. Who? There's a lot of them. Poe, you know I gotta say a name. <laughs> it's a lot of them. Not a lot of them, but it's a couple of niggas like that. They got <clears throat> rap on their name and Duck embraced them. But but I think like but, on some music shit though. I don't think like he did no crime with them no more or nothing. But he's I saying he's that on some music from shit. What, from I, what I heard that he told Butter like, yo, you should rap. Like, that's man. what I heard. He let him use FBG. Gotcha. That's what I heard. Okay. So I could be wrong, but I heard that a couple of niggas from that area post that had cooperated yeah. and they was allowed back into the area under certain conditions. Yo, how does that work? Like, yo, you could come around, but you gotta be recording five songs a day. Like, how does that even work? How do I, you... I don't know how it works. <laughs> I know that the reason why Butter was allowed to come around because he has a kid by Duck's sister. He's not gotcha. gonna stop him from being a father. That makes more. That makes sense. Yeah, that's that that's just on the butter situation. Yeah, for the trenches news, it's kind of like for trenches news. I I think that trenches news, like I said, he was a crackhead or he was on something. And he was going around around. I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't want to disrespect trenches news too much because, like, I actually like the nigga even though he blocked me. But why he blocked you for? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I posted a video, like, I, I reposted a video of Jay Main saying that he was going to get on that with Trench's News. But it was like a comedy video. It wasn't even like he was really threatening him. Okay. But I don't know, like, Trench's News just blocked me after. Like, he wrote on the, like, it's still there. Like, you can see his comment on yeah. my post still, like, but he just blocked but me. you blocked. Yeah. And you, I don't so know. You, you never had no exchange, no exchange of words with nah, him? Nah, mm -mm, nah. Damn. I know. He just, he just, <laughs> <laughs> I guess he was like, before this nigga start trolling me, let me just block him. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's, that's what I assume. I can't. What, but were they going in? Were they into it? If, Jay Manning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell okay, yeah. okay, okay. Because Trenches News was talking, like, I. Right, so Trenches News was telling stories about certain shit that was going on on 63rd, right? Gotcha. And he mentioned some stories about Jay Manning that at the time Jay Manning felt was him attacking him. Okay. Right? Were, were these stories stories that were... They was, it was partially true. Okay. He put his own spin on it. Gotcha. So, at first, Jaymane denied it. Like, yeah, this never happened. But then he, like, kind of cleaned it up. Like, nah, this kind of happened, but not the way he said it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it was one of those things where it was like, damn, nigga, like, out of all the things you could have brought up, you brought up this? Like, yeah. you know? Type shit. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's what I think. Yeah. Now, he, if he says, yo, man, I'm a journalist, I'm a civilian, I could do what I'm doing. He can. He don't even have to say that. He's a, a, a man. He can do whatever the fuck he want to do. Yeah. Could, would people be wrong for working with him in the future? Like, let's say he's about, he want to do an interview. Would they be wrong? No, because there's a lot of rats, faggots, and yeah. all types of shit in the music industry, in the acting industry, True. in every industry. So yeah. you're going to tell Joe Blow, yeah, I don't want this million dollar deal because I think you're gay. Yeah. No, they're going to sign on that line. Yeah. So I, I feel like it's just people pick and choose. I feel like when you're famous... People only pick you because they want to tear you down anyway. Gotcha. So this is just an open opportunity to tear him down. Yeah. That's all it is. Damn. Yeah. If he wasn't famous, they wouldn't care. Gotcha. I mean... <laughs> they would not care. It ain't nobody. You've never seen a nigga go live about a nobody. That's a fact. That's a fact, but... If a I, nobody nigga snitched, they yeah. walk right past him in the hood like, yeah, well, stay away from that nigga. That nigga be snitching. Yeah. Ain't nobody touching that nigga. Ain't nobody playing with him. Ain't nobody selling him weed. Ain't nobody doing none of that. They gonna whisper about him when he walk by. Have you, nobody gonna do nothing to him. Have you ever seen that though? Like where people what? actually do something? something to a snitch? Yeah. We used to do that. We used to like jump niggas in jail for that. Okay. I, like that's what I seen. I ain't never like see nobody like get dealt with. Like I heard stuff like, oh, like, yeah. yo, why that nigga got killed? Okay. But like. Yeah, it was never nothing like I could confirm like, oh, this nigga actually snitched. Like, I never seen a nigga pull up on a nigga like, you a snitch, nigga. Like, yeah. Unless we was in jail. Like, gotcha. In the streets, I feel like niggas fake be minding their business. Yeah. You no, know, that's not my problem. That's the nigga we told on problem. Yeah. 
That's I think you. that's what I see a lot. Like I see that's what's going on in this generation. It's not like back in the days where everybody used to leave their apartment door open because it was some type of boundaries. Mm. Now everybody doors got three locks on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it should show you how things are different. I yeah. grew up in the projects where I could go to Tammy house and open the door. It's never locked. Yeah. Run upstairs to the sixth floor, go, hi, Miss Bell. Yeah. Go in the room. She could go downstairs to my house. Oh, Mama Blood, what you cooking? Yeah. Let me get one. Like, that's how it used to be in the hood. You yeah. don't like that no more. Different. Yeah. Damn. Used to be like that. That shit used to be fun, too. What, what do you think changed it? What changed it? Yeah. The fact that, like, as the years went along, the structure faded away. Gotcha. Because, like, it goes back to that thing, like I was telling you, like, about family. Like, it yeah. starts with your family. The code that you're supposed to be following and living by is the code that your mother and your father gave you. Yeah. The secondary code is the law. Yeah. Because you could, you're supposed to break the law for your family if you have to. Yeah. So I think law is secondary, and then gang rules is third. Yeah. You feel me? That's what I think. Yeah. That's how I live my life. That's why I know gang members don't like me. Because I'm never going to let you disrespect nobody in my family. I'm going to beat you down. Like, yeah. Or whatever I want to do at the time. Gotcha. You feel me? All my friends... Or anybody I fuck with, if I bring you to my block, ain't nobody fucking touching you. Yeah. I don't care what they heard you did. We we gonna deal with that later when they can prove it. Yeah. If a nigga come to me with paperwork and say, yo, your man snitched, I'm gonna deal with my man. I ain't gonna let you deal with my man. Gotcha. So that's, I don't know. I just think like the structure. Niggas like me fucked it up because we was, I was not listening to the big homies when I was blood. Yeah. I ain't give a fuck what them niggas were saying. Why not though? Like, Because I was just, I was just feeling like I was on a level. You see, yeah. you see what happened. Yeah. You see how this shit turned out. You yeah. can't get that shit can't happen unless you thinking big, like you big, you know. Yeah. Type of shit happen. <laughs> <laughs> that shit can't happen if you ain't have that vision. Like, yeah. yo, I'm bigger than these niggas, or I'm. Oh, this nigga the big homie. <laughs> nigga, I could be the fucking big homie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or, or this nigga got that bitch. Or I could back that bitch. You know it's the same yeah. shit. Gotcha. I was a young nigga and I ain't really have a father, so I ain't really answer well to niggas telling me what to do. Yeah. And because I didn't want to get told what to do, I didn't want to be in that game no more. Gotcha. It's like, nigga, what? What's this nigga name? And he sent the letter saying I gotta do what? Tell him suck a dick. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> you know, oh man. You know? like, yeah. That's how I was thinking at fifteen. 13, gotcha. 14, 15. And on top of that, right? Um, the reason why I hated older niggas was because I had beef for only older niggas. Like, I had beef for mad niggas that wasn't even supposed to be looking at me as a threat. Yeah. It was five, ten years older than me. Like, why though? How did you find yourself in issues? Because I was fucking mad bitches when I was young. I had the older bitches going crazy. Yeah. I was little Randy with the braids. I'm coming through the block. Oh, he's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> trying to get my wee wee lick. Like, what's up? Like, yeah. My little joint is hard. Yeah. Oh, it's so funny. When they drunk and they stumbling through the projects and they baby father slapped them, they come right to my house. <laughs> <laughs> so now when a nigga find out, now he on my heels. Yeah. Oh, you want to be grown? I'm going to treat you like you grown. And gotcha. I thought that that was unfair. I was a 13-year-old kid before a nigga that was like 19, 20. And he was shooting at me. Yeah. Like, for me, like... But that's how it goes when you're in the streets. It's no, like, age limit. Do you feel like it's just like... I guess. It's... I guess, but I always heard no women, no children. Yeah. I feel like at that age that I was going through that, I was a child. Yeah. Like, I ain't see, I ain't think it was that serious. Like, beat me up, you know? Like, but come on, bro. that 13 year old. Like, like, come on, bro. Like, I was trying to talk to the nigga, like, yo, my nigga, chill. Like, it ain't even that serious. <laughs> like, yo, my man, what's up with this nigga? He wild. Oh, this nigga is crazy. Like, 
that's how I was thinking as a kid. Like yeah. I was scared, nigga. Like why wow, this nigga shooting? Like I. I can take an ass whooping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but then you shoot like, nah. What I'm gonna I do gotta step that. my game up. <laughs> this nigga wildin'. Yo, man. Bad. Um, I seen you on live with SG Batman. Oh. Rico <laughs> Reckless. <laughs> that was just a bunch of... No, first, how did that even start, man? Niggas talking about my father. Like, I was on uh, live with Tay Savage. Right? Yeah. This is when he first came out. Yeah. Like, this is... He probably only had like one song out, yeah. I think, and like one interview, like, yeah. well maybe not one interview, probably but two. the 16 shot him interview. Okay, okay, okay. One day, yeah. way crazy. Us to him, right, so at that time he was new, yeah. right, and we was on live talking to the nigga who had Fabio chain, right, and we was telling him like, yo, send the chain back before we do something to you, argue yeah. with him and shit, you know, me and Relly, yeah. tell us to Relly, right. Me and Relly was trying to get Fabio chain back, and the nigga was just like showing it, like, yeah, nigga, come get it if y'all New York niggas this, y'all New York niggas that, you know, Chicago niggas saying that. So, um, one thing led to another, and Tay Savage's name came up, and then Tay was in the comments. I told Relly, bring him up. Relly brought him up, and yeah. Relly asked him some questions, and then he FaceTimed Little Reese, and it was just a movie. And at that point, niggas was like, yo, why Poe keep disrespecting Chicago niggas? So, like, a lot of lit Chicago niggas start coming to our live and wanting to argue with me. And SG Batman was one of them. Rico yeah. Reckless was one of them. Um, Lil Reese was one of them. Um, it was a lot of them. What was you saying at that time about people from Chicago that got them upset and made them want to get on the live, though? BDK? <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> Why the fuck was I saying BDK? Oh, cause um, Didi Osama went to O Block, and they said they were smoking Olati. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. And then and all the O Block niggas was dick eating. Yeah. Like, well, not all of them, cause it was a bunch of little niggas, but some of them, yeah. Yeah, like the little niggas, the, the nobody niggas, are like not nobody with a name. Like, okay, okay. Nobody really like they real little niggas, but it still was like. I, I I looked at it like this, like how, why Tay came to the live because I was trying to tell Tay like thinking that Tay had that kind of power to speak to the old block niggas. Yeah, that's just what I assumed. Okay. So I realized he's not from old block. He's from Welsh World, and, you yeah. know whatever the specifics is. But I felt like Tay should have checked them. So that's what I was saying. Like like all y'all niggas coming to my live saying this and that, but ain't nobody checking them little niggas. Y'all know what they doing is wrong. Yeah. And since y'all don't want to check them, I'm bringing it to y'all. Because that's just like a rule for me. Like, if a little nigga disrespect me that don't know me, that never heard about me, yeah. and he say shit to me on the internet, I go look at the older nigga who hangs with him. Okay. And I, I blame him. Because only he could have told you that. Yeah. So I take it out on him. So I went to Tay. Like, yo, why are these little niggas saying that? And he like, nigga, I ain't from old block. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, but I see you over there, so I'm figuring, you know? And that's how, you know? Yeah. Shout out to Tay. Me and Tay good. Got you. And then that, could, now the back and forth with you and Rico Reckless was a little... Rico Reckless? <sighs> I'm scared of that nigga. That nigga, he in the Gizzle Club. That nigga, so yeah, you see what he said. <laughs> I don't even want to repeat Hold that on. shit. All right, well... <laughs> I'm gonna have for the people that don't know. <laughs> yeah, he said he was gonna knock me out, he pull my go butt cheeks apart, and spit in my bowl. What? Is <laughs> what is the infatuation with that? Like, is that what, back That's some gangster shit to them? Do you know what they? You know what Rico Reckless told me himself like, yeah. off the air? Yeah. Like that's their way of saying suck my dick. Like you see how New York niggas be like suck my dick, but we yeah. not really gay. Yeah. That's like. Them saying, like, basically, like, you're so much of a bitch that I would knock you out and spit in your ass. But the difference is in New York, we ain't going, there's never going to be a time where we going to actually, actually make, make you, suck a dick you dick. feel me? And they actually are spitting yeah. in the butt. 
So <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. That's why I'm so scared. That's why I gotta disaffiliate myself with a lot of niggas. Yeah, like, that's why like I hang with Jaymeen. Like, yeah, like he's spitting in people butt nah, too. Fuck oh, no. Fuck no. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure, man. Nah, nah, nah. That's a that's a that's a that's a disrespect to his brand. Word, cause I'm about to and say the cereal and all the shit you see him doing. I'll be like, come on. Something to die for. <laughs> for real. You laughing? Here you go. <laughs> Yo, this guy. Yo, son, yo, yo. Me and Pete Films is more cooler than a lot of niggas think. So, like, he's gonna do this the whole thing. Cause yo, he's Paul. always gonna be like, no, Paul. Like, yeah, yo, yes, man. Like, but I bet. So he says that. What's your thoughts when he tell you that? I got nervous. <laughs> I got nervous. <laughs> I heard about a nigga saying, well, I catch you, I'm gonna kill you. But when I catch you, I'm gonna knock you out. And I'm spit in your ass. Like, he yeah. said it like he meant it. Like, did you see it? Did yeah, you see I see. He was see. serious. Yo, and, and he repeated himself. So, all these Chicago niggas is mad at me because I'm not scared of them because they're from Chicago. Yeah. Because if I never seen you do nothing, I can't be scared. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And I never seen a lot of these niggas in person. Yeah. But I did see Rico Records in person. Yeah. But not SG Batman, right? And, like, I feel like the Chicago niggas just be mad because I'm not scared of them. Like, gotcha. they just feel like, oh, yeah, I'm from the rap. Nigga, yo ass will die. Like, I'm from New York. Yo ass will die. Like, yeah. Just, like, you know? So, yeah. them so. niggas don't scare me. Like, I was out there. Like, I know that shit. It's not really scary. It just, you know, like, everywhere else. Like, if, New, you know how New York was before the cameras? Yeah. That's yeah. how it is out there. Gotcha. Police don't really care. Like, they yeah. just start trying to solve crimes. Look, the last indictment was Jay Man and them pops Dang. before O Block. That was like the f low, like the you see the stretch between the BD indictments, yeah. two thousand and five and twenty twenty three. Yeah, crazy. Like, you know, niggas don't give a fuck. And yeah. not to say that I want them to, but now you know, I know what you're saying. It's just I a little seen, different. Yeah, like police don't. You got to be a pain in the ass for them to want to put something on you. Yeah, like you got to really fucking stand out. Gotcha. That shit is GTA on five stars, like. Chicago. As soon as you step off the plane. Yeah. Damn. You, got, you better be ready. Yeah. Because it, it can happen in a split second. Yeah. Now I feel you. In I New feel York, there's kind of like motives. Like, ain't nobody doing no random killings. Like, every day in the Bronx, it ain't a niggas, niggas in the cars with AKs sliding through a block shooting 20 people. Yeah. That's happening in Chicago. Gotcha. Like, when, they, when they say, yo, we going on a drill or we sliding... That means like, yo, everybody out there getting hit. And uh, they just hit anybody or they hit? Yes, they everybody hit? outside. <laughs> yo, that's crazy. They hope it's your cousin or your sister or somebody. Nah. And if it's not, they'd be like, damn, I'm a goofy. Go back over there. I, you see, this is what I don't know if you trolling or not, yeah. man. Yo, I don't it's know. Not you, you don't get no. He yo, yo, we just sliding hitting your cousins and your sisters. Yeah, Come we on, both man. That this is a nigga that's gonna hurt you. The thing about it is, they just want to hurt their opposition. Yeah. So if the little boy from your block getting killed is gonna make everybody cry, <laughs> yo, come on, then fuck it, we killed the little boy. Not saying yo, we gonna go over here and we gonna shoot little kids. No, they go over there and whoever they see, they shooting at them. Yeah. But they got guns, they got switches, yeah. they got guns, they got fifty clips, hundred clips. So when they just shooting aimlessly, everybody, yeah. everybody's getting hit. Damn. Or they hanging out the window. You know how that go? Yeah. Well, you don't know. But yeah. I, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Damn. Feel me? Like, you you can't even control where a bullet gonna go. Like, like rest in peace, my man Ripper. Like, bro, a nigga shot at the floor, like, on some warning shot shit. The shit bounced off the floor, hit him in the stomach, and he died. So Damn. he wasn't even trying to hit my man. Yeah. He was just trying to scare him. And he killed him. And he him. killed him by accident. Damn. It ain't really by accident, but it's by accident. Nah, nah, I know like, what you mean. You feel me? Like, yeah, yeah. You can't tell where a bullet going to go. I could shoot at this wall trying to hit her or trying to hit him or them and hit mad other people. Yeah. Or the bullet could go through you like, and hit another nigga. Like, gotcha. Damn, fuck. Uh, 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 everybody no. hopping and jumping, hitting the deck. Like, niggas running into bullets. Like, so they don't got to be like the intention, but... They not gonna stop shooting. Like if yeah. a, if, a, if a girl or a little boy is running, they not gonna be like, man, get your ass out the way yeah, and wait yeah. for them to move and then start shooting again. They just gonna keep going. Yeah, niggas wild. Sheesh, niggas wild.
Damn. You know, earlier you said you mentioned the whole situation with Didi going to um, oh, wow. Oblak. I remember around that time, it caused like back and forth with, I think, 600 Breezy. Yeah, I went at 600 Breezy. Yes. Because you, be, cause you be with us out here, so yeah. you should have been the first one to say something. But then, like, say Savage. <laughs> I'm from 600. Yeah. It's not my block. God. Even though I know them shits is like right there. Yeah. They could tell me 600 and old block not the same thing, but I'm going to tell you that 600 and old block is the same thing. Gotcha. Because it's that close. But according to, I interviewed G. Gotti, but. Yeah. Charles G. Gotti. Well, according to him, he's saying that 600 Breezy is is basically saying he's not really rocking with old block like that. He's more. He didn't publicly say that, so okay. I, I'm I'm gonna say it allegedly. Yeah, word, right? Word. Cause he never came public and said that. I never yeah. seen him say that. But what I do know is, it was only certain niggas from Old Block and Six Hundred that was like really really locked in. Okay. And I think it was like on some music shit. Okay. And while the music shit was going on, I guess certain street niggas did connect. But like I seen Tay Capone do. A, uh, a story time about how he went and got old block niggas for 600 niggas and he's from 600 mm. so yeah that's crazy that shit hit different yo you know what we gotta get into this man <laughs> where do you stand when because 600 breezy when he's in New York he be with he's 600 G's exactly how, where do I stand with that? Because also, around the time you was with King Yella and uh, Billionaire Black, 600 Breezy is kind of a, on the opposing side from you. Mm -hmm. So where, where, what position does that put you in? Yeah, I so I used to be with Dirk and them. Okay. So we was originally locked in with the BDs first. Gotcha. So only just because I'm not locked in with them no more don't mean Polo got to switch up. Okay. So we let them keep that alliance. We want to be locked in with as much people in the music industry as possible. Yeah. We don't really want to be a part of their politics. Yeah. You feel me? Only reason why I was a part of certain politics is because some of these niggas that died was my friends. Gotcha. Like I actually grew a bond with some of them, so I took it personal. It wasn't... I'm not GD nigga. I don't give a fuck about that shit. Like yeah. I was riding for individuals, okay. and it was funny and fun for us to be like, ah, oh, BDK, ah, oh, GDK, whatever. Like, however we was feeling, it was just fun. Like, ain't nobody gonna do shit. Ain't nobody do that. Yeah. So like, I mean, it was fun. Slamming rakes and all this. That shit was fun. <laughs> now. What I look at is just this, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, again, it's not to offend, but it's like breezy. Yeah, cool. Six hundred yeah. breezy's from Chicago. Mm -hmm. They singing his praises. Oh, he's G. He's um YG. He's YG. Poe, we know YG, but then they'll say things like, "Oh, Poe's not YG," but then they're because they want to affiliate themselves with people that don't like me. That that's that's coming from the inside. That's coming from. Okay. That's so they could look like they're not affiliated with me. So they gotcha. could dick suck niggas that I got beef with or that don't fuck with me. That's all that is. Dang. That's them waving a the white flag like, shit, that shit ain't got nothing to do with us. Yeah. That's a you and him problem. He ever did That's a song. what a lot of the pussy watch you niggas be doing. Okay, okay. Like, like when I was beefing with Reese, it was niggas in the comments like, you ain't got beef with the YGs, you just got beef with Poe. No. Yeah, a lot of dick riders. Did... Did did Six Hundred Breezy ever do a song with somebody from Polo Brown? I, I think so. I think my son Max or, or my man King Poe, one of them got a song with him. Okay, but okay. He like that's his hood when he out here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like he locked in. Like me and and, and, and where did y'all stand? was in between. And me and Breezy, we just gonna fight when we see each other. Like it's one okay. on one. Like we like I'm gonna go to Polo. I'll, if he come to Polo while I'm out here, I'm gonna go to Polo, go in the building, we gonna get it on, we gonna shake hands. Gotcha. Like, cause I don't want to fuck up. Like, I know how it feels for other niggas to fuck up your relationships. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And fuck up your opportunities. So, I would never be the nigga to go on the internet and be for the nigga for that. I'll call him on a personal, like, yo, bro, what's up with you? Like, yeah. And he'll tell me, like, nah, bro, I'm just trying to get a feature. Or whatever. And I'll be like, all right, do your thing. 
Gotcha. You know okay. As long as you ain't switching up on me, nigga. There you oh, go. Oh, you just want to do a feature? All right, cool. I'll be Bet. Back. You know what I'm saying? Bet. Are you and Rico Reckless supposed to box or something? We were supposed to box on New Year's, but he just be ducking a lot of fights. Like, well, I can't say a lot of fights because I think Ruger ducked the fight with him and Ruger, right? I believe, yes. So Ruger. let me take that back. Yeah. My bad, Reckless. You ain't duck no fights, but you just ain't won none. Yeah. <laughs> you never seen him win? I, I seen the fight in the uh, gas station. He won or you lost? I can't say he won, man. Exactly. You seen the fight in jail? When the nigga popped on him by the, um, I, the front yeah, of the police? I seen that, he yeah. lost, right? All right, what about the fight with Lil Mister? He lost, right? Man. All right, so I seen him fight, but I ain't never seen him win. <laughs> so he, he definitely probably don't want to get in the ring with me. Because... <laughs> <laughs> I got a uh, history of putting my hand and shit on niggas. Man, yo, I don't think you want to do that. Remember when? I'm gonna take it back a little bit. I remember right. when King Yella was kind of going at it with Young M.A. Right? Yep. Cloud chasing. Yeah. Do you feel like that? Because yeah. he was cloud chasing. Because he don't even know Tuka. No, come on. He's not even from their block. He never met Tuka. I don't know Tuka. Club chaser. Now, but, Duck, on the other hand, that was disrespecting Duck. Okay. Anytime a nigga say he's smoking Tuka, it's because he's disrespecting Duck. Yeah. That's the whole point of them smoking Tuka. Gotcha. Yeah. So, tu so Duck saying something is... Yeah. He should say something. Gotcha. But now, Yella, he did all of that and then ran with Zach TV to a Young and May show and did some fan shit. And squashed yeah. it on camera just so he could take a picture with her. Yeah. Now, I, nigga. and the the reason why I bring that up is because did that affect you in yes. any way in New York? I had beef with Tax going behind that. Yeah. Yeah. Because Tax was feeling like, yeah, girl, you, you going against New York for some Chicago niggas that's going to turn on you. And he yeah. was right. Damn. That's fucked up, right? He did a whole podcast about me. Or he like the hood Charlemagne, so if he even beef with you, it's like, <laughs> nigga, you you lit, you know what I'm saying? I remember around that time, he like, yo, I know the New York nigga. <laughs> you know how he <laughs> talk. <laughs> the dirty blood niggas with the triple legend jeans. Yeah, I remember, okay. I remember. Now, okay. at that time, did y'all ever have any words? Uh, Me and Tax? And yeah. Hell yeah. Tax came right through my DM talking hot. Yeah. Yeah. What was those like? What what was said? What did he say? What did you say? What was those conversations like? What he said on the, what he said in the, in the um in the um <laughs> in, the, in the podcast when he see me, I was gonna get rolled on the Peter. <laughs> <laughs> did y'all ever see one another? <laughs> fuck no. Oh go go. I don't go. know what the fuck I'm gonna be with Tax on. Like where yeah. where I'm gonna see him at? Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Like I wasn't I wasn't like hanging like I wasn't like running around with Casanova at that time. Yeah. So yeah. I would have never like he knew I was not never gonna bump into him. Like yeah. we not even like like I don't know. I just I just knew that he knew he wasn't gonna never see me. Gotcha. Gotcha. You know, I mean? you know it's interesting because I know there was some riff with you and Cass, but y'all was locked up together, right? Yeah, yeah. Now what, yeah. when the riff happens after y'all come home, right? Yes. Like that's that's when he starts rapping as well, right? Yes. What what caused that riff? Alright, so um, when Six Nine first came out, I was very boisterous yeah. about how wrong it is for niggas to be standing behind him like he's blood. Gotcha. I was very boisterous, and I was partially jealous because that nigga was, yeah. and that drill shit was my lane. Yeah. So I was trying to be a crab in the bucket. Okay. And I was trying to like use the blood rules as a way to cast him out of our community, right? The rap yeah. community. Cause I'm like, a blood niggas don't never look like him. Yeah. Like that that's just like a total disrespect to blood. Like why y'all allowing this? Gotcha. So that led to back and forth between me and Six Nine and basically what started the riff with me and Cass was I made Gummo remix in this six nine, right? But I really didn't this six nine. I think I this eight boogie. But I, I staged it like I was dissing 6 9 Yeah. But I really was dissing, like, High Bridge. Okay. Um, Kaz wrote on the comments, like, yo, take this down. We don't move like this. Right? 
Now, Cash, that's big bro. So I'm like, yeah. and he already like fake in the industry. So it's like, yeah. anything he say to me, I'm feeling like he's saying it for my own good. Okay. So he told me like, yo, take this down, bro. You bugging, like, we don't move like this. Like, so I DM him like, yo, why you want me to take it down? He like, yo, bro, if we got beef with a nigga, like, you don't supposed to be doing that. Like, you don't supposed to put that shit on the internet. You bugging, nigga. Like, take that shit down. Gotcha. I'm like, all right, like, my bad, took it down, boom. Then he dropped set tripping. Yeah. And it was marketed on Worldstar as a 6 9 disc. Yes, yeah. Yeah, literally in the in the title. Yeah. I'm like, what? I thought we don't do this. Yeah. Now I'm confused now. Because he was going to do it. That's why he was not do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing. <laughs> no, but no. I don't know, man. <laughs> but that's how I felt, right? I'm telling you. Little bit of old angry old me yeah. at this time, cause I felt like everybody robbed me for my for my career except for myself, yeah. right? I'm gonna blame everybody. So yeah. I, that was the time I blamed him. Yeah. Like I would if I would have dropped my this record, I would have been yeah. And you deprived me of that, and then turned around and dropped a this record. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, bro, what the fuck is this? This is treachery. Yeah, like you bugging. This is treachery. <laughs> So what do you say? What's the first thing you say to him or do y'all even speak right now? No, away? yeah, we had a big ass argument. Like we yeah. met up. Uh, we ain't meet up. Let me scratch that. We ain't meet up. I bumped into him in North Carolina, right? Yeah. Like, a lot of months later. Okay. Cause I was like following Cass around and arguing with him. Okay. Like Casanova's at Lust, I'm pulling up. Yo, yeah. you bitch ass nigga. Like I was yeah. following Cass around to argue with him and he's man, I'm busy, man. We talk later. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? He was running around with Chris Brown and all types of niggas. So he was like spinning me. Like, yo, not right here, man. We in the club. Shut up. Yeah. And I'm like, but bro, you did something. Like, we talk about it later. Okay. All right, fuck you, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bitch ass nigga. Like, you know, we was probably both calling each other bitch ass nigga, but it was like, I was chasing him around to, to get my point across. Gotcha. And he was spinning me, spinning me, spinning me. And then I finally got like a sit down with him after a show and shit. And, we just had a heart to heart. He was just like, bro, like you can't blame nobody but yourself. Nobody told you to listen to me. No. Yeah. He did not. Yeah, he did. Nah. Yeah, he did. You, you listen to everything everybody tell you? You can't blame me for that. You made the decision to take that down. Nah. Yeah. Come on. No, he didn't say that. He did, he did not yes, say he did. He did not say nobody that. Nobody told you to listen to me. If you felt so strongly about your diss record, you would have told me, fuck me. Straight up. Can't now blame me for that. Was there at least a sorry? Yo, my Hell bad. Hell no. Aight. He said, you fucked your own career up, nigga. Aight, so what What are you thinking? What are you feeling? I'm thinking he's fucking crazy. Like, nigga, I'm explaining to him. Like, nigga, no, nigga, you, motherfucker. Yeah. And he's like, you can't blame me for that. You're a grown-ass man. Nah, come on. <laughs> you're a grown-ass man, bro. If you wanted to diss that nigga, you could have dissed that nigga and I'd have just been mad at you, bro. Yeah. You have to take it down if you, if you felt that way. Like, if you felt so strongly about your diss record, would have been as big as mine's, bro, you should have never took it down. I'm crying, man. Type shit. Like, man, Cass is an asshole. Anybody that know him, like, he not no nigga that's going to say sorry to you. Like, yeah. Unless... It's like, he really did some bullshit. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, then he gonna be like, yo, come on, man. You know I love you. But, if, like, nigga, like, come on. He's the first nigga that really showed me, like, yo, bro, like, your emotions don't matter. Like, okay. that was the first friend that was, like, looking at me like, you just mad for nothing. Like, you always fucking mad. That's how you fucked up your whole career. You always mad. Damn. You always mad. Like, Wow. I'm running around joking, laughing, and playing, but behind the scenes, niggas know what's up with me. Yeah, yeah. You bring all your emotions to the internet, to the songs, to everything. Like, you just mad all the time. Wow. Now, does that... Does that... Free cast, huh? Yeah, does that cause any issues after? Like, do you, are you are you on some... Nigga, like, me and cast have mad beef. See, this is what yeah. you understand. That was just what started the Ruffles and Ruffles. Him yeah. running around with High Bridge, I was mad at him for that. Yeah. Like... I don't know. I was always mad at Cass. Cass yeah. always pissed me off. <laughs> yeah, he always pissed me off. Like, yeah. But I love that nigga because he, he stood on that shit. Like, he was yeah. like, kept it official with me. Like, 
Bro, I outsmarted you, but what the fuck? Like, you mad at me? Yo, come on, you can't do that to your mans, man. Like, I'm sorry, I'm man. I'm little, bro, so I guess, you know. Nah. And, and I never man. wanted to hurt him, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just yeah. wanted to argue with him, and he knew that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I wasn't threatening him, like, you bitch ass nigga. Like, oh, another time his DJ was talking shit to me on the CC show, and I called him, like, how the fuck is you hanging with niggas that's playing with me? And he, like, bro, if you don't want niggas to play with you, stay off the internet. Like you, when you go to the internet, you open up a door for niggas to play with you. That's kind of true. I, I understand it's, it's that. It's very true. It's, it's the annoying. harsh truth. Yeah, yeah, It's the yeah. harsh truth. That's why yeah. I used to always jack it. Like, you right, but you still a, like you still a bird for that. Yeah, yeah, got you. you know got you. Damn, the harsh man. Truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he huh? never, he never, he always. That, that's why I respect him because he always kept it a thousand with me. Like he mm. didn't give me no excuse. Like he ain't try to justify it. He was just like, nigga, you stupid. Gotcha. <laughs> like, damn, nigga, man. Like, you stupid, nigga. What the fuck? Now, I know you seen uh, Shy G's, Use G's, <laughs> everybody okay. going at it. Yeah. And now, Use was basically saying to Shy and um, y'all now hound. So, y'all got to take the G's out your name. I believe mm -hmm. Nesty G's is hound, Shy G's is hound. Um, it caused a big rift. Even this week, Yusuf is arguing with Shaw. This, this week, this week. Oh, you know? I I think that that at this point, I think it's just for like views because those two niggas both know where to find each other, and nothing ain't happened yet. Mm. Like if I hung with you every day, I know where you live at, I know where your girl live at, I know where your yeah. mother live at, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So yeah. if it was a real beef, I don't think they would put it on wax or on camera. Yeah. So I feel like it's. It's really just like a thing where I feel like Sha kind of like blew past used, but like used yeah. used to have the ball. Yeah. So it's like one of those deals where he can't like accept the fact that Sha is blowing up. So he like trying to like tear him down by saying, "Oh, you soft because you turn hound or whatever." Like yeah. he's just trying to discredit him to bring himself back up. The same okay. way how he sat in front of your camera and said what he said about me. Yeah. It was a yeah. way to step on my head to get to the next level because gotcha. he was upset at me for some reason. You understand? Yeah. Like that's what he does. Like he's that friend. Yeah. When you when you when we get mad, I'm going to talk shit about you. And mm. if it makes me money, then I'm going to talk more shit. Yeah. And if it makes me more money, then I'm going to make a song. And if that makes me money, I'm going to make a video. Yeah. Like Wait. I feel like like use and Shah is two friends that grew apart from each other because they want something different. Like, they both want something different. What do you like, think? Like, that's Shaw my political wants? answer. Yeah, what does Shaw want? What does Yus want? Like, what? Um, I think that Shaw just wanted to get away from Yus for some reason. I don't know what his reason is. Like, I spoke to him, but, like, I don't think I asked him that. Yeah. Right? I think he just wanted to get away from yous for whatever reason. And yous peaked the, distance. the funny vibes. Yeah. And I don't know. Like, I can't really say because I, I wasn't in New York when that happened. Yeah. But, but, but it's like. I could just say, like, I, I, I didn't speak to yous, but I spoke to Shy. And Shy yeah. was just like, like, yo, like. I don't even want to, like, I don't want to affiliate with niggas that affiliate with that man. Like, they got a personal issue. Like, it's some some personal shit between those two. Okay. That, and, I mean... And he's on some shit like, yo, like, I don't want to be affiliated with him. Like, and anybody that want to affiliate with him, I don't want to affiliate with them. God, like, That's what he told me. To the world, it kind of looks like... I, I remember interviewing Shah G's, and it's when he had just come home, came home... He did the 300 Flocker song with um with use with use yeah and that could I think they had the same manager at the time I believe so probably yeah, yeah. but yeah. Th that song was gonna come out and Sha asked use yo man don't put it out yet wait for me to come home let me jump on it you know I felt like use it from the outside looking in now I'm ignorant to everything right mm -hmm. I'm just a journalist watching. But when he was on my platform, he said, you helped me and all that. He you was like, help him. so it's like, I was there, but I used to hang with them two together. 
Use did help him. Like, they both was doing the same shit, but, you know, when you fresh out of jail and a nigga already kind of got a head start, yeah. and he pull you in, like, that's help. Like, no matter oh, if you ask for it or not, or, yeah, yeah. like, that's help. Like, I feel like use helped Shy, but I feel like Shy, like, got, like, more hot songs than him at that time when they distanced themselves. Like, I feel like yeah. Shy, because if anybody who knows Shy G's, like, He's he was feeling himself before all of this. Okay. Like, I'm gonna share a story with you, right? Remember when we first did our interview? Yeah. Alright, so was you there when like Nesty and all of them was there? Nah, I wasn't there, but I remember but, you said they would come to that studio from time to time. Okay. Yeah. So basically, I had a song called Get Shot, right? Yeah. And I was gonna do the sequel. And I wanted like D thing. Shaji's, yeah, Tuzdo, and Hadi. You know yeah. Hadi? Yeah, yeah, that's Hadi. Yeah, yeah, that's Hadi. All right. I wanted all of them on the song. So I had all of them at the studio. And Shaji's told me, like, yo, my, I ain't gonna lie. I don't want to do a song with these niggas because they don't got no clout. Like, like I don't. <laughs> that, that, you lie. <laughs> yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I can't win with this dude, bro. Nah, no, no, no. Come on, come on. Yo, bro. Yo, nah, bro. fuck with you, fuck with you, fuck with you. No. But yeah, that's what he said. He was like, yo, bro, like, these niggas don't got no views. Like, these niggas is not on my level. Like, I'm not doing free songs with them. Like, I get paid to do songs. Yo. Like, YG or not, like, I'm not doing songs with just mad niggas like that. It's not even, like, putting in half the work I'm putting in. And, and and you can interview Tuz Doe, he'll tell you. You can interview Hadi, he gonna tell you. You can interview who else? Who else? Oh, Hadi Good Shadi. Day. That's Good Day. Okay. Hadi and Shadi's cousins, right? They, are they cousins? Hadi Shadi and Shadi's? Yeah. I think they used to be. I don't think they jacked each other. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> I don't think they jacked each other as cousins. I think they anymore. used to be like, yo, bro, y'all just stopped being blood. Yeah, like they did. You don't see it? When you ever seen Hadi and Shah G's together? I never. Since so, that song. Yo, I like that song too, right? I'm not going to lie to you. Them two niggas yeah. were a good duo. And I remember the 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 first, I think Shah G's first interview, I got that. Des Hadi is the one that called Shaji's to come sit down in that interview. So that's at how that I met time, them. Yeah. At that time, Hadi was used. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. He was doing his thing. He but, blew past Hadi. Yeah, Hadi, but Shah, I, I can't lie. Lazy. Shah's nice. Hadi I can't lie. Lazy. Yeah, yeah. So they grew apart. They, I never seen them Jack Davis cousins after that. I think that was like. Like K Flock and D thing. I think that was like them trying to like kind of, yeah, my cousin. I yeah, don't know. Okay, okay. I, I, I don't you, know. I but yeah, they yeah, could yeah. be. They could yeah. be. I, I don't know. Like, I knew Sha. Like, a lot of people don't know. Like, I did. Like, I was Sha G's first feature ever. Wow. Like, ever. Like, when he started his career and he was singing like dirt. Yeah. Like, I was the first feature like Sha G's ever had. Gotcha. Like, and I'm not saying that on some shit like, yeah, yeah, claim a favor. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, I was around Sha since then. Yeah. Right? Maybe not as long as Bando, but I was around Sha G's when he first started. Okay. And I seen him keep pushing, get locked up, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. And I seen other niggas that I used to be around them get lazy. Mm. So... I feel like they grown apart because of that. Like, I feel like Shy wants it more. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, Shy wants it more. Like, Here's what I'll say. I can respect that. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. Like, like, if that's his reasoning, like, yo, bro, I'm yeah. working mad hard and y'all yeah, not... Yeah, that's the, that's the same thing with d I can respect it. to say the same shit. Mm. I'm doing no songs with these niggas. Yeah, because I ain't going to be sitting here in the studio every week, every day of the week, yes. and y'all come, come in to the blue and you yeah. jump on my song. Yeah, don't I work it. like that. I, I I could understand that. I, me, personally, I just wanted Shaw to do it because we was all family. Gotcha. But I also know from being an artist myself that I get put in positions where niggas want me to do songs with niggas I really don't want to work with. Gotcha. Whether they my friends or not. A lot of my friends' music is trash. Yeah. Like, I would never do a song with them. Yeah. And well, clearly you don't want to do a song with 
uh, anybody from Extortion Gang. No, no, I definitely don't. <laughs> I got songs with some of them bum ass niggas though. Uh, but, uh, I do. Uh, I, got, I, mean, I got songs with. The, I got a song with the nigga who I was just arguing with, the little snake. I got a song with him. Oh man, is yeah. it? Uh, did y'all do the video to to it or it was just an audio? I'm only in one of his videos, and okay. that, and it was they forced me to be in that video. His own cousin ain't want to be in the video. Jeez, I did it because I felt bad for him. Cause like it was just him and one other nigga who's on the song shooting the video, but it's a house full of niggas. Yeah, and I was like, damn, why nobody don't want to be in this video? Yeah, and he always just kind of like laughing like. Got you. Like, you know, damn, you know how that shit go. Bad, bad. But it is though, like, the niggas don't be really making no hot songs. Like, okay. the only nigga from me, yo, bro, the only nigga that I seen make good, that got good chemistry with Billionaire and EG is um, Mello. They call him uh, Dizzy. Dizzy. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I don't know which one is his rap name, Mello or Dizzy, but that, that nigga and Billionaire is fire. Okay. But like, all the rest of them, nice. they need to just like learn how to engineer, learn how to. Shoot a video like they need to make yourself <laughs> useful in another way. Yo, which I I actually think more teams should have that where yes. everybody don't have to rap. Rappers. Somebody be the manager. Somebody yes. be the you know what I mean the Find the, 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 the engineer. Do. Yeah, like you yeah, said. Yeah, and that nigga, like them niggas work regular jobs like. These niggas working in chicken stores and yeah. these niggas got oh, 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 you going crazy, I'm man? I'm serious, bro. <laughs> Yo, I the mean, nigga that I fought used to work in my man chicken place. He slipped and fell. His big fat ass. They had it on camera. He sued or not? Nah? I don't know. <laughs> it's probably cut. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. The Listen, nigga was, yo, bro, the nigga I had a fight with. The remember that stole my slipper situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga had a regular job inside of a chicken store called Jupiter Rings. Yeah. The other bum nigga, he still got a job. The little snake. Yeah. The white nigga, he got a job. These niggas is like lame, <laughs> like, hey, hi, McDonald's, can I take your order? Then they were standing in front of the camera with guns, like, ah, I'll kill you, nigga, EG. Like, get the fuck out of here. You yeah. the nigga out the window every time I want a sandwich. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you the nigga out the window. When I want a sandwich, oh my you God. out the window. You fucking taking my car and swiping the shit. Yo, the man. the fuck out of here. I don't believe you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> How y'all niggas even get in Arizona? I know why I went to Arizona. Let's put yeah. this out there. Why all them niggas in Arizona? You got a nigga from Philly inside Arizona? Yeah. For no reason. But he, but he acting like he a tough guy where he from. You got a couple niggas from Chicago. Yeah. Just migrate to Arizona. Like, outside of his family, which is the little snake. Yeah. All the rest of them niggas is questionable. Cause like, what are y'all even doing out there? Yeah. Like, why y'all picked Arizona? I know why I picked Arizona. Yeah. I could tell you exactly why I went, because billionaire was getting out of jail, and I wanted to assist his career. Yeah. So I migrated over there to help him. Gotcha. Like, literally, it was planned out. I was living in New York the whole time. Yeah. As soon as he came home, I went over there. Okay. So what's their reason? I guess to And that's uh, the main place that they send racks. Let's put that out there. Yeah. Cause I don't live there no more. So I'm part of the I'm not a part of that crew that migrated yeah. to Arizona no more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm just kick the niggas down. <laughs> Why you over there, you fucking snitch? Oh man, yo. What you told on, nigga? Lee Drilly. Broke my heart. Yeah. So it's my dog. I like I I can't say that's my dog. I just like I like Lee Drilly. Yeah. Like I like Lee Drilly. Like I still like Lee Drilly. I just don't agree with him disrespecting my father. It's like it's not your era. Me and you have a good report. Like what was that for? Yeah. Y'all, like, y'all, you and Lee Drilly, y'all seen one another before? Y'all and spoken, chilled. So man, yes. What do you think? All right. So look. What's that video? I'm gonna slide through their with my Nala Gibaka. Like, I'm the man of my roster. It's in the um, it's in the exotic store. Okay. That colorful video, bunny hop, bunny hop. Uh, with D thing got the white Louis Vuitton shit on. Yeah. Lee Drilly was at that video. I was at that video. They have not got to get the name of the song. It's, 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 it's oh, called. Right. Um, is it the deep? No. Nah, it's the. Dun, dun, dun. It's scene, the, the scene, beat. the scene. Yes. The scene. Yes. Yeah, it's off the Lee Drilly beat. Okay. Lee gotcha. Drilly did that beat first. Oh, I didn't hear Lee Drilly. Yeah. I, I, yeah, it's called. Um, D thing went crazy on that. It, it, it was called 
We really did it. I think it was called Final Destination 2 or okay. something else. It might have been right. something else, but D. Drilly did the beat. Well, I heard D. Drilly's version first. Yeah, I met Lee before, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, smoked together, drunk lean, yeah. a couple D thing video shoots. But, like, I can't say, like, I was cool with him, like, I was cool with Rob, rest in peace. Or, yeah. I can't say I was cool with him, like, I was cool with D thing. Gotcha. Okay. But, like, you know, he was around and I was jacking him. Like, you know that? I was sharing this shit. He was reposting it, like, for me, we was. Conversating in a DM, like, yeah. you know, I was always telling them, keep going, yo, this is fire. Yeah. Like, I so, was rooting for Lee. Yeah, what made, like, when, when, he knows that that's your father, right? Yeah, but that's what niggas, do, like, and, and that, and, and, and it's f still free Lee Drilly, but back to what I said earlier, niggas do that, like, niggas disown me publicly because they are trying to fit in with some niggas that don't fuck with me. Yeah. So that's how they do it. It's easy to just use my father as a way to put me in the goofy lane. Yeah. Like, that's just what they do. So it's just like, like, they, they one of their older niggas don't like me, and that's where the energy come from. They gotcha. don't be them, because what's his problem? Like, you know, yeah. have a problem with me or alcohol. Gotcha. And you all the way in jail. Like, if you got the opportunity to use a phone, allegedly. Yeah. Because I don't know if he was him or not. Gotcha. Right? That's why I didn't really just, like, you ain't seen me go at him like I would have did anybody else. Yeah. You just seen that one post. Like, you know, I'm confused. Yeah. And then he seen it and then respond. So, I, it led me to believe that maybe it's somebody else on his page. <laughs> Yo, don't say that, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> bro, a lot of niggas do that, bro. A lot of niggas be having mad niggas in their gram. Yeah. You know what I mean? Niggas be going live from their man Instagram. That man ain't no look, shit. Look, look, look. M for example, MB. Yeah. And I'm not saying it was MB, but when MB came home, he went live on Lee page. Gotcha. Like, okay. he got Lee Instagram in his home. God, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of niggas know, is in, man. like, do you think D thing is posting from jail? No. So his managers is doing that. Probably, yeah. No, it's not no probably. <laughs> D thing ain't got no phone. We'd have had mad D thing everything if that nigga had a yeah. phone. I mean, that nigga would have never got off the phone. <laughs> you know that. This is D thing. That Say you know that. That nigga's the littest nigga ever. Oh, man. Is that um, gonna go live? Since you, since we on the topic of D thing. Mm hmm. Now. Free D thing. Absolutely. Free D thing. Uh, yeah, they say he coming home in January, right? Yeah, that's his CR. That don't mean he's coming home, but I pray oh, that they let him okay, out. Okay. That's now, his what, conditional release date. Gotcha. Now, what's the difference between... What, what, how, what's a conditional release? Just explain that for the people. All right, the conditional release is if you got good behavior, we're going to let you out on this day. Or if you finished all your programs and shit. Gotcha. And if you don't... Or if you end your programs while you CR, then they might let you still go. Okay, and if you... In the event that you don't, then you... Then you got to go to your max out date. Got you. Yeah. And I think his is what, like next year, November or something? Or June? I, I, I looked him up. I looked into it, but yeah. I did... Don't remember. Got gotcha. that, that, um, that, that shit. Bet. Now, with him, you know what I'm saying? There's so many things I hear, you know, about his, like situ his case and all that. What about his case? I'm going to tell you. So there was a time, uh, I think PDL posted, posted him, and some people from DOA was like, "Yo, did they ride it or this and that?" I think they assumed that because um, Sticky said your favorite rapper is snitching on us. Yes, gotcha. So I think that's where that came from. Now, with that being said, right? Mm -hmm. the, is he hearing these things? The, is, uh, hell yeah, of course he is. Yeah. Of course he is. Like, everybody's telling him everything. You know how it is when you lit and you in jail? Yeah. Niggas is running to the visit to tell you what happened. Yeah. Niggas is going to be the first one to give you the news. Like, they run into the visit floor to tell you, yo, this nigga said, uh, yeah. or if your girl walked through the block, yo, when that nigga called, tell that nigga called me, I got to tell him something. Like, yeah. You feel me? Like, it's the same way how jail niggas make it their business. To call us and tell us what they heard. Yeah. <laughs> the same shit. What is, what is like, how, how does he feel about it? What is he saying about it? What is, what I is ain't, yo, I'm going to be real with you. I have not spoken to D-Thing. Yeah. Like, I have not spoken to D-Thing. Like, I got a voice note from D-Thing that damn near sometimes makes me cry. Yeah. Because I ain't going to lie, like, 
I just feel bad for him because I feel like, damn, like, they did him the same way they did me, you know? Like, as soon yeah. as he got, like, lit, he got locked up. Yeah. I feel like, you know, they targeted him like they did me. I just beat my case, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, um, him, he wasn't that fortunate. It was too much stuff, yeah. like, so... He's, I just, I don't know, I just be feeling like I failed them, you know? When you're an older nigga and you already been through it and you are the nigga they look to for guidance, I was just one of them. I, yeah. I'm not saying, like, I'm the nigga they all, you know? But they do all, you know? That like, true. But, like, I just felt like, like, this, like, I let them down, you know? I mean... Like, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't go the extra mile to keep them away from those situations. Gotcha. And he hurt, he hate me, like, for leaving. Like, when I left to Arizona, it was like his birthday mm. and like that's why I said the voice note that should be making me like like sensitive cause like like you tell me like yo you left me nigga like, yeah you just left me that's like, true you, you, you was you know what I'm saying once you came around bro I wanted you to stay there and yeah. you left me yeah and I'm like bro I got a life I got kids like I gotta do what's best for me he's like not on my birthday like how you ain't come say happy birthday to me buddy like you know? Yeah. And you, I can hear it in his voice that it, it it changed things between us. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So free D thing. I hope and pray that, you know what I'm saying, that nigga come home and he pick up where, you know, him and K Flock left off. Just <laughs> going up. Cause those two niggas they ran that shit. I mean That was the that, that was the main thing going on. I don't those two niggas against each other. Those yeah. rec the records back and forth was hot. Those nah, that beef was a hot beef. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of beef that's not hot. Yeah, yeah. That was that was a good one. I think the marketing behind that was was what made it skyrocket. Those cousins. Yeah. Who you think came up with that idea? I don't smart know. Smart man, right? A smart man. I, I would I would believe or it's woman? a very intelligent man. Or a woman, right? Or a woman. Who came up with it? Why you lift your head up like that? Like <laughs> I'ma I'ma say this. I'ma say that K Flock was saying it first. K Flock was saying it first? Yeah. K Flock was saying it first. You know what's funny? Y'all say K Flock was saying it first. They say D thing was saying it first. Cause we supposed to do that. But you never know until you do the timeline yourself on some trap law raw shit. Yo. Who said it first? I'ma have to do that, man. You have to. I feel like Cause remember, I used to go live with K Flock damn near every day. Yeah, I seen the live where he was high with the drink, and he was like, "Muddy." And they talking to one another. Yeah, and, yeah. And then niggas like buzzing, but buzzing, but buzzing. I'm gonna see. Like, I feel like that's just they shit. Like, we both lit. Like, that's my cousin. Like, fuck it. Got you. Or they might really be cousins. They don't. However it go. You know, Listen, like man, K Flock mother got on that. Interview. Listen, my mother lied sometimes too. She got in that interview. I'm she be, said I'm she just said. no disrespect to my mother, but yeah, sometimes yeah. my mother lie too because she don't want to. And then niggas to look at her a certain way. And then TG. TG who? TG Flocker came up. Who's that? Well, TG once TG Crippy now TG Flocker. Oh, TG Crippy. Yeah. Oh, but TG Flocker now. Oh shit, he's Flocker now. How? You say he's not he Crippy no more. Listen, he's not crip no more. <laughs> Yo, here we go with this guy. Here we go. Nah. <laughs> Don't do that, man. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yo, he's not crip no more. Don't make it a thing, man. <laughs> what happened? What? That's so why he changed his name to Flocker. To Flocker, yeah. All right. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, he can't do that. Name TJ. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, bro. Fuck it. I ain't watch you no more. Fuck it. <laughs> Yo, like, whatever, man. I'm not watching no more, bro. <laughs> I'm grown now, bro. I ain't young gunning no more. You bro. know what? Let me ask you a question. I'm bro. not watching you no more, bro. At my name is. I'm gonna change my name too. My name is Paparazzi. My name is not Poe no more. We gonna uh, take the Poe. Off. We gonna take the Poe of my name. That's not my name. That's but can't name. you change? Can't somebody get like like you know? He's reformed. I'm not in the gang no more, and I'm taking the Poe off my name. <laughs> Well, that's, that's what he did. He's reformed. Exactly. See how he was TJ Crippy? Whatever he was. <laughs> TJ <Little> Crippy. <laughs> so, Little TJ. You see, now he's doing this intentionally, nah, man. Nah, 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 nah. Listen. Come on. I like him, sir. Listen, I like him. I, I, I like TJ Crippy, man. TJ oh, Flocker. Or, or Little TJ. Which one? <laughs> Wait, what's the difference? Come on, TJ Flocker. They both be with K Flock, right? 
I don't know the difference between all them dirty niggas with their little ass braids. I don't know the Yo. difference. They all look the same to me. But you got an issue with Lil TJ too? What are you talking about? What issue I got with him? So why he gotta be that? Do, can we both agree that Lil TJ hair never grows? I don't want to put you in that. <laughs> <laughs> like, it just doesn't grow, so I call him a little dirty nigga with bread. He got more money than me. Wait, but, but what is your issue with him? What's your issue with him? I'm still going to tell you on camera I'm a little dirty nigga from Wait, the Wait, what's your issue with TJ? Come on. TJ, what he do it's to you? That. We was a wolf at Cardi B birthday party last year. He ain't no beef with little... Lil TJ got shot and robbed enough. You think he won't be for me? Yo, come on, man. Keep it come a buck. On. Keep it a buck. <laughs> Keep it a buck. Keep Yo, it a buck. now. Why would I want to pick on Lil Is it because they, you know, they over there, any, slaughtery? I don't got nothing to do with that. Shout out to J. Dot Geek. Yeah. He's from Slaughtery. Yeah. I like him. I, I, I like what he's doing. I don't have no beef with him. You was on uh, Live with Jada Gee. Exactly. I, I I don't have beef with him. Like, So you can't say I got beef with Slaughtery. No, like, there's, there's a tension there. There's tension there. There's two niggas from Slaughtery that got out of line with me that... T uh, TJ. Exactly. What did he say? So why did he say? Me why I got a problem with him. <laughs> then you just answered your own question. <laughs> he got a problem with me, but when I see him, we called you. Wait, like, why he had a problem with you for? What, 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 what? He said he was smoking my pops. I don't know where he came from with that. Yo, bro. He's the first one to say he's smoking alcohol. The first one. And that's because I think, oh, I kind of did a song with Clipper. Free Clipper. Okay. My boy, in my son Moreno. Who? When he was second in Creston. For the people that don't know, who's Clipper? Who's Moreno? Clipper is the hottest nigga coming out the feds right now. Whenever the fuck that nigga get out. Yeah. Clipper is one of those. Clipper is the nigga that make TJ sweat when you see him. Like, that's his op. Like, he get okay. antsy when you see a nigga named Clipper. Like, that's a nigga like... Like... All right. That's like me bumping into Money Mitch from High Bridge. I'm going to jail. What the fuck is you talking about? I don't care if I got to bite this nigga. I don't care if I got to yeah. whatever. Like, me and that nigga, we got so, problems. Like, that's that's my favorite up. Like, I love beating the shit out of him. So, with that being said... But I don't got beef with the whole High Bridge. Got it's you. just me versus him. With that being Free said... Money Mitch. With, with, with that being said... I can't wait for you to come on so I can beat you up. Because I ain't coming <laughs> in there to fight you. <laughs> I see you when you get back, my man. Now Clipper is coming home. Yeah, Clipper's coming home, and me and Clipper did a song, and Clipper and them said they were smoking on Smelly. If you look at the video, it's a video of Little TJ in the booth rapping a verse, yeah. and he says, "When I catch Clipper, I'ma hurt you." And then Clipper's showing me the clip in the video, like, "Yo, look at this new op. Like, I don't even know this nigga. Like, where he yeah. come from?" And I'm like, "Who the fuck is this?" Like, so. TJ was mad at me for that. He was mad at you for that. Yeah, he's mad at me still for that. But like I said, but I if you saying if you now the correlation in my mind, here's where my I mind did a goes. song with a op. Hold on, no, 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 no. The correlation that's in my mind goes, Mitch is from Highbridge. Yes. Mitch is responsible for Judah, right? No. No. Two different males. The other male went to jail for that. Not him. Okay. So, Mitch is responsible for telling the police that we did something to his cousin and we ain't do nothing to his cousin. Gotcha. I had a fight with Mitch and we got locked up and he told the police, yo, that nigga killed my cousin. That's my beef with him. Can you mm -hmm. try to nail me for some shit that you know I ain't do? Gotcha. It ain't stick. But it's the fact that he did that makes me not respect him. Like, I heard it with my own ears. Like, yeah. police broke us up. What y'all fighting for? Yo, that nigga Randy killed my cousin. And I'm like, huh? They put me on the gate, cuffed me. We all going to jail, bro. Why would you say that? But well, there's a dead body right here on the floor. Why would you say that? Damn. Why would you say that? That was my problem with him. Yeah. Like, we got into a fight because they thought I did something. Right? Because I was there. Yeah. And when the police asked us, why are we fighting? Mitch said, that nigga Randy killed my cousin. Did you get, did they charge you for that body? They was trying to, but yeah. I, did, I didn't do it. Gotcha. Like, I didn't do it. I was just there. It's, it's like, if you come out the building and your man is dead on the floor, and then you see an op, you're going to automatically blame him. Yeah. 
Like, what the fuck you even doing over here? Yeah. So, it's a no-brainer. Gotcha. Gotcha. Like, that's my issue with him. Like, you, you could have, he could have put my, if them cops was crooked and they didn't do a thorough investigation, I probably would have been arrested still right now for that. Wow. And I ain't have nothing to do with it. Now, you know I gotta ask. Sure. What you gotta why ask? Why does TJ not like Clipper? Little TJ don't like Clipper because Clipper's from the block of the niggas, I think, that might have had something to do with Smelly, I think. Or they just gotcha. be dissing Smelly a lot. Gotcha. Like, Clipper got a, a, a video burning a Rest in Peace Smelly t-shirt. Damn. Yeah. So, now, I think that's what it is. Say, like, now, at that point, when he's showing you the video, right... Are you saying to yourself, I right, this could possibly go bad for me, like, and not in all some, no, not, not in an aggressive way, but more like, I right. no, nah, I never, I never see, I never looked at little TJ as an opportunity, like, not opportunity. I never looked at little TJ as a person that I wanted to work with. I feel like he's an imitation a boogie. <laughs> Yo, come he on, reminds son. me of the nigga who always dissing me. So you think I'm yeah. like his music? It's the same shit. Oh, why this nigga Poe keeps sliding in my block? It's the same <laughs> shit. That's all they do. They just be crying. Did he say he's um? He said he's uh he started drilled or something like that. Like, I think he's, he's like the, the first he's he's one. Like, I'm be real. Like on some Bronx. Like, yeah. but then to say like TJ is drilled is like kind of disrespectful. Is a boogie is not drilled? That nigga's yeah. like fucking Michael Jackson. You laugh again. Because I'm giving him his props. A nigga, no, he, it's an me, underhanded compliment. A Boogie's Michael Jackson? Listen, <laughs> uh, of the hood, yes. Of the hood, I, Yo, I'll give him that much. Oh, man. Yo, you I'll know what you're doing, man. Thing. You know what you're doing. Like, hey, Boogie's the hottest nigga in the world. Yo. From the Bronx. Male artists from the Bronx, uh -huh. I don't see nobody hotter than him. And I'm not being funny. Why do I got to be funny? <laughs> Even though we don't get along, I like his music. Yeah. Like, I listen to his music in the club. I throw money to it. I love yeah. it. Got but you. I be like, you know, bitch ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. like, if I, even if I see him, I wouldn't even touch him. Like, we need a boogie. Yeah. Who, the fuck, who the fuck we going this? Listen, man. Paul, we need him. You know we have a seven hour interview yeah. where we discuss y'all running into one another in the jewelry store. Okay. So you know that <laughs> that was then. Yeah. I just said now, right? Yeah. I'm not YG no more. Oh, the, right? Now this. My name ain't even Paul no more. So now y'all even got no reason to bother me. <laughs> If y'all want to be mad at me for my name being paparazzi, <laughs> I'm gonna result back to being Poe again. They don't want that. They don't like Poe. Poe oh, is the man. ignorant nigga on the internet who argues with everybody and stands on that shit. Yeah. So if I take the Poe out, maybe they'll leave me alone. Maybe. Maybe, right? Maybe. And if I take the YG away, they'll really leave me alone. Hopefully. Right? So hey Boogie, if you looking at this. I don't got no problem with you, bro. I'm not YG no more, and my name ain't Poe. So you don't have no reason to be mad at me. Gotcha. And your girlfriend looks mad good. How you end it like... I can't even be mad at him. How you end it like that? Like, like what, that was... I can't even be mad at him. Look at his girl. If I seen A Boogie and Ella, I would not touch him just off the fact that she's there. Yeah? I would go, what, what, is what, what is her presence doing for your she's anger, then? Like, she's... She's napalm. <laughs> All right, man. Come on. She's not. Lay, hey, man. That's that. Man, that's that man's woman. I can't. I can't that's speak on that man's woman. woman. Ah, Bo. Come on. Oh, you man, going crazy? <laughs> Can I not ask? A question? <laughs> Yo, I don't know what she's what doing. What if I tell you that's my girl in my head? Or what if I say I know somebody else that think that that's a girl? No. Hey, See? man. I don't know, man. A hey, Boogie, Ella, if you're watching this, I tried to stop him. I listen. I don't want. I don't want to disrespect none of these people. Right? Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I'm listen. I'm trolling right now, bro. I don't want no problems with you. You the Michael Jackson of Bronx drill, bro. Don't do that, man. Stop I, saying that. Yes, that's Mike, nigga. Yo. 
Stop that's saying Mike, that's an bro. underhanded compliment, yo. That's that Michael Jackson, compliment. Michael Jackson of of the Bronx is crazy. Yes. Let's start there. <laughs> that is he not though. I think he's the uh he's talented man. That nigga is Mike, bro. Da, 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 da. You know, no, I'm playing. I'm exactly. playing. <laughs> that nigga is Mike, bro. That's Mike, bro. I'm telling you. Yeah, I, can, I, I just hear that song, uh, uh, A Boogie's. I forgot what song. Um, 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 I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, when he's doing that. When he's doing that. Oh. If A Boogie, that. if A Boogie called right now and said, "Poe, I need an eight, eight bars, sixteen bars," you doing it? Definitely sending it. You doing that it? I revived my career. He killed my career. You didn't hear that song? Ah, you see. You didn't hear the song, Papa? Yeah, see, that's the police. Yes. Yeah. He killed my career. I ain't been hot since that. Alright man, we're not doing this man. Keep it a buck, bro. Why, why am I this. mad for keeping it a buck? We're not doing this, we're Keep not doing it a this. Buck. What happened with you and OP? On point like OP? Absolutely. What happened with me and OP was Cause I never known y'all to have an issue. Never, we ever, did ever. It, though. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't. I think you started with him, man. No, yeah. I didn't. I didn't. You did he started with you? I think Scrap started with me and OP jumped in it. Oh, okay. Yeah, Scrap started with me and then gotcha. OP jumped in it. Gotcha. It was never... I even spoke to OP after that because I was in Miami. Yeah. And I DM'd him like, when the fuck we ever had a problem? Yeah. And he was like, nigga, you disrespect Scrap, nigga, you disrespect me. And I'm like, that nigga disrespect me first. And he like, nigga, that's my brother. Like, Damn. If that's, what, if that's what he on, that's what I'm on type shit. And I don't care, respect him. What did Scrap say to you? What what was Scrap? Scrap said something to me about doing a song with Coca. Because you know I used to be cool with some of them, like Jeezy yeah. Mula and them. Like, I used to be cool with them when they was cool. Like, gotcha. so 90 and Real Right used to be together, you know? Yeah. And I was kind of cool with them. And um, I think they were just mad because I did a song with the Blickies. So it started with me beefing with Fetty. And then Scrap eventually got into it. Fetty Luciano. Yes. And then Star Brim got in it. Like, Wait, but I thought this was recent though. Nah, mm -mm. it been going on, but you just now seeing me and OP have words. Yes, recently. because it's been going on. We've been saying slick shit to each other, but that post brought it out because he says something on the post. I report. I, report. I don't think OP ever had an issue with you though. Nah, he did. He he, he had an issue because of scrap. It wasn't because of him. It was never because of him. Like yeah, OP gonna tell you like I. Well, whatever he gonna say, he might step on my whole name and disrespect me. I don't know what he gonna say, but I yeah. can tell you that me and OP never had a issue with each other. It gotcha. was always him defending a nigga that I'm like that he affiliated with. Gotcha. Like, but I forgot. Like, we got into it recently because oh yeah, I was violating scrap. And OP slid in my DM. So but, but it happened years ago, right? The, no, the, it's been going on a lot. No, I mean like... Every time Scrap get his hands on the phone, he get on the internet and want to talk about me. Word. I don't know why. I probably fucked his girlfriend or something. I don't know. Come on, Paul. I don't know. Yo, you see, you I used to sit in the bed with her, but I didn't have sex with her. For real. It got to be over that girl, because we have no connection yeah. or disconnection. Yeah. We have no connection or disconnection. The only thing we got in common is one girl. Oh, come and, on. And she man. always tell me, oh, yeah, my baby scrap. So I know that probably he knows that I used to, you know, sleep in bed with his girl. I never had sex with her, though. She smelled like a cat. All right, Paul. You I'm see? Real. You see? She come bad on. as a motherfucker, but she smelled like a cat. So I couldn't even whoop like that. Ah. Uh. I'm serious. Heat. If I show you her right now, you're going to be like, damn. Straight now, meow. hold on. <laughs> so, hold on. Because I feel like... You can't whoop like that. I feel like I never... All right. I understand it's probably <laughs> under the under the radar is happening. For, 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 no, for. it wasn't under the radar. I could show you the timeline. Scrap said something to me. What did he say to you? He said... Um, he said it was something about the song with Coca and Scrap. But that song was years ago. All right. And that's when the first time he had... Addressed you. Verbally address me. Yeah, oh, come on, Paul. Right? You can't. He but the, the back and forth was this year. No, that song came out 2017, no. 16. <laughs> no, listen, listen. What what year did Scrap get locked up? 
Like 18, right? Probably, yeah. Yeah, right, 17, 18, right, something like that. So this is, for some reason, somebody either posted the video with me and them or whatever, and he wrote some shit like, like stay on that side, like some shit like that. Because remember, I'm kind of cool with yeah. both. He said some shit like stay on that side, like, and I was like, nigga, I don't got nothing to do with that shit. I ain't from fucking Brooklyn, nigga. Yeah. And he was like, nigga, but we, we putting you in it. Yeah. And I'm like, how the fuck y'all going to do that? Then, after that, I'm on live with P. Gutter. Here comes Fetty. Now, nah, fuck this nigga. He did a song with the Blickies. Mm. I'm like, what, nigga? Y'all niggas did songs with niggas I don't fuck with? Yeah. What the fuck? I can't hold you accountable for that. You're not from my hood, nigga. You don't got nothing to do with that beef. Gotcha. So, it was just a little... It was, like I said, it was... Fetty... Star Brim, these are all people that was affiliated with OP and Scrap at yeah. the time. And they was coming to each other's aid. And I was standing on my shit like, I'm not, I don't care, nigga. Like, the fuck? All right, you want to put me on that side? Cool. Yeah. And I just kept trying to help the Blickies more. Like, it made me want to help them more. Because, like, y'all hating on them that much? Nah, but we're Like, y'all attacking me? I'm from Harlem somewhere, my man. Like, you know... Uh, it could be, and, and they it, paid me for a feature. It's not like I went over there dick riding them and tried to turn them up for free. Yeah, them niggas reached out to me and paid me real money. Niggas was paying me the whole time I was around them. Yeah, for everything, video appearances. I'm in Gummo Remix video. I yeah. got paid for that. Gotcha. I'm on Alibs for a Nas song. I got paid for that. Yeah, I did songs with Coke. I'm on. I got paid like everything. I got paid for everything. Like yeah. I did with them. So it's not even like I wasn't over there doing business. Like yeah. I, did, I went over there and did business just like y'all do business. You know what it is too, probably because around that time it could be around around that time the Blickies was on fire. It mm -hmm. could be that too, it was like that. And Fetty was cold as ice. Could be could besides be. the song he did with Jay Critch, I like that. You don't even know that's just crazy. Yo, shout out to Fetty, niggas hot garbage. He is. Keep it a buck. Fetty's Ask anybody in here. Fetty's not garbage. Come on, man. Garbage? Come on, bro. I you just hot, I said hot garbage. Hot garbage is crazy. It is. It is crazy. If, if garbage, That's how I feel when I hear a Fetty record. Nah, I'm not giving that oh, to you. Oh, so you, you, man. Got, you got a favorite Fetty? I'm not going to put you in there. <laughs> Yo, you see what you're doing? <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, I don't want nobody. Nah, what's come your on. Favorite, what's your favorite Fetty record? Freddy Luciano, Roddy Rebel's little brother. The nigga that I be dancing in all the videos. What's the name? He's Rod Roddy's backup dancer. He started ah, right, you see? Nah, we What's can't do this. He don't got no, That's what I'm saying. We can't do that. We I'm can't do that. Seriously. He got the song with Casanova, too. But how what song is that? Um, They're going back and forth. I forgot the name of it. But that's a good song. That's a good song. Even when he came home. Nah, I think when I look at Fetty, Fetty did his job, yo. He wasn't the rapper. I, I, look, 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 so like I'm he not wasn't the rapper. him yeah. for holding it down until his brother came you home. Feel me? From other niggas from GS9 to come home. Yeah. I feel like he's not really a rapper. I feel like he was just doing it to. Yeah, like to someone has to carry the. Push nah, I agree with that. And you know what? Tutu went to jail and Nick was that person, right? Yeah. Nick nah, wasn't everybody's good. favorite. No, it was Nick. You see, you're just you're saying that because you, you're you saying, saying, come on. Nah, you, you do it. Nah, 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 nah. You, you can't do that. Nas? You can't do that. Nah, what? What about Nas? 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 Coca? They was scorching hot. Coca? You gonna say that? Nas and Coca was scorching hot? They were scorching you, nah, hot, bro. Listen, you must be cool with them. <laughs> <laughs> you must be GD. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, listen. I guess scorching I'm, hot is so crazy. It, it Tutu might, never been scorching hot. Now you're bugging. What? You're bugging. You know what's scorching hot? Pop Tutu. smoke. That's, right, that's different. That, no, no, no. All right, all right, all right, all right. No, 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 no. Hot? Yes. Okay. Tutu yeah. was extremely hot. Still yeah. Is still Pop, is to me. Still Pop one smoke. of my favorites, even though he... Uh, still one of my favorites. <laughs> I think Pop Smoke... He's in a lane of his own. I don't really put him in that because he's out of here. Hot. That nigga was scorching. And you see what I'm saying? They hot. It's just like there Big was trip. a point in the. Nothing to love with the lip. Scorching. No, 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 no. 
There's a time. Scorching. There's a time the Blickies was on fire. No, they was inconsistent. They was not on fire. You're bugging. It was hit and Come miss. On. No. It was hit and miss. No. And every nigga, every song. This is scorching. Scorching is everything you fucking touch. Yo. Remixes. Features. You didn't feel like that? But with who? Well, which one? You know what I want to do? You know what I want to do? Which you know one? who can what? answer this question well? Mel's TV. Okay. Because to the point... Hold up. They was feeling like Mel's TV was playing Lucky. favoritism with them over there okay. like crazy. Check it. Two two G's. Yeah. Set the tone for that Blicky game, right? Yeah. Okay. Two two G's goes to jail. When it came down to holding it down while he was gone, yeah. you had Skrell and Nick together as a group, going hard together. Right? And then you okay. had Nas and Coca. And Coca. Yeah. Right? Now, when it comes down to them being scorching hot, Nas never had a scorching hot record, but Nick did. Okay, yes, I'll so give you that. this is why I say that. Mm. When it comes down to it, when it comes down to it. You're right with Nas. Nas was consistent, Nas was not very as hot. consistent. Nas is good. He's a good rapper. Yeah. He's a good rapper. I like some of his songs. But I like all Nick songs. Especially the one with him and PNVJ. I think... I think y'all like Nick more too because Nick is the humble, cool. Nah, Nick was just like the total package, the performance, the delivery, even with a lisp. Yeah. He was still able to make us jack him. And that's hard. Yeah. That's like Lee Drilly. Gotcha. He still like he still made y'all jack him. Like he's yeah. like yeah. No, nigga, I don't give a fuck. If you don't understand, you better figure it out. Yeah. You know? Like Nick was the total package. He was a star. Nas. Bro, it's a, and this is the thing a lot of rappers don't know. A lot of rappers think because they make a hot song that they better. No, you're not better because yeah. the niggas who performance is better than yours gonna blow right past you. Yeah. Nick yeah. comes behind Tutu, not Nas. And not just because he passed away, rest in peace. It's because he was the total package. He was the only one that could get a record deal and make a hit record. Not... I think nah. you're saying that because of that, um, that listen, baby, I ain't gonna in a minute, that, that, that driving the boat song. All you need is one song to be hot for the rest of your life. But he didn't even make that song at the time where they was, they was on fire. And that makes it even better. I feel like they were kind of going down that at that time. Well, let me not say down, but they yeah. were plateauing. And that makes it even better. Nick came and saved the day again. Oh, man. Cause Nas nah, I, I like that song, though. Nas can't, can't do it. Remember, it's not about the hardest verse yeah, yeah. or the best beat. It's about the nigga who can make the hit. I agree. Coca never had that. Niggas like to hear Coca rap. They like talking spicy one, two, three, ten. That's what they like Coca So for. you think after Tutu, you would put Nick, Nick before Coca? as far as a hit maker. Yes. What I, hits do he got besides the song with me? Okay. What hit? <laughs> yeah, yo. What? But, Come on. Okay. Give me a break. Hit me. Hit. Hit yes, wise, no performance no wise, everybody listening to. He I'll never give you that. Radio. He never got booked for a show where he was performing unless he was with Pope. And that's because we did a song together. Nobody's I mean, not booking Coca for shows. I see what you're saying, but I can't give. Uh, he's I, lyrically I, I gotta better give than it Nick. To... He's lyrically better yeah. than Nick, but he's not better at song making. I could give you that. Yes, I could give you that. That's it. I could and give you that. Performance. His swag is nasty. Nick Dance, you feel me? That helped him out a it lot, too. It helps a lot. Yeah. It, it helps a lot because the list takes away yeah. from his lyrics. Yeah. But the way his whole shit was better. Now, you know, I met Nick before. He, pr he probably don't remember it. Honestly, mm -hmm. that's when I had first started P Films. Mm -hmm. So, I felt like his energy was very much so just happy energetic and I think being that type of person it seemed like that's what he that's that's what he was all the time don't know the man but yeah. that's what it seemed like yeah. so his music is gonna reflect that that person too yeah so that's why I think people I don't know I feel like people happier can make better hits so I don't know that's, probably, that's how I feel I mean probably but it's yo bro but a lot I of see. niggas that make his songs is the dancers because they know 
what music to make to make a nigga dance. Yeah, because they want to dance. <laughs> exactly. Tutu I, gets sturdy. Nick gets sturdy. Nas, he's just standing there. Coca, yeah. he's just standing there. I, the I, only I, other, the only nigga who got a hit from them that crew that didn't dance is what's his name? Um, fucking coach. Oh yeah, it's the only one that made it past without dancing. Could you say? And he makes better songs than Coca, even though they make good songs together. Mm -hmm. But he's a better song maker than Coca, and it shows when he gets a record deal. Yeah, when he it did shows the, when, he did the project. when y'all was partners, G G G K one, G K. I mean, whatever the fuck them songs was. Yeah, and y'all niggas was catching a buzz together, and then he blows past you. Gooey sauce, whatever the fuck, all them songs he was coming out with, niggas started jacking him, like <laughs> playing them. I heard niggas in my hood driving by playing them. I feel like you're doing forty eight loads of power right now. No, I'm not. Man. I feel I'm like you're doing forty eight loads of power right listen, now. Listen, Coke, listen. Coca Nas, they never made a hit record, yeah. right? That's something that we know. Nick had a hit record. Mm -hmm. Tutu had a hit record. Mm -hmm. That's how I call I call it from who has a hit. That, you mean, ain't that, nobody in the rap industry if you don't got a hit record, bro. I'm telling you. Well, I agree. A hit and consistency. You have to. You have to. I know to, niggas that been consistent all their life and they still don't got a hit record and we don't care about them. The, does they it just make, faking it. Like does they, it? They, they someone, all right, look, look, look. Someone who's one hit wonder, but someone who's consistent. Who you going to say better? Bro, one I'm hit wonder... A, don't means that they're not consistent. It just means that I only agree. one of their records hit. Yeah, yeah. Right? So it, it don't got nothing to do with consistency. I don't know, man. I, I, I could come out, if I drop right now and get a hit record, niggas going to say, Poe ain't dropped since 2018. I'm taking Tutu, Coca after, man. Lyrics. That's why, because you like the lyrics. Now, he's not a better song maker than Nick. He's not. You might he, have that. You he might can't have make that. a hit record. But it's like, I don't know, I'm giving Coca, the man. Biggest, and then I, the biggest song Coca got is either with Tutu or Talking Spicy. Talking Spicy. Because niggas want to hear Coca rap. Nobody don't want to dance to Coca. Target music. practice was hard. Like, I, for me. Target practice was hard, but it wasn't a hit. A hit is. Yeah, listen, yeah, man, now we lurking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a hit. Yeah. Blicky game, yeah. no, we going to murk him. Blicky, yeah. that's a hit. Then yeah. You're going to still hear it right now when you go to the club. I got you. You never hear a Coca song since he went to jail. Ain't I mean, no free Coca campaign. Right, ain't no Coke Hogan. Ain't no none of that. Where's his Coke? Where's his fan base? Nah, they there. They there. Come Where? On, don't do that. Don't do I that. didn't see do one that. Blicky with a free Coca shirt. Yeah. Have you ever seen it? No 211 Stain Gang nigga with a free Coca shirt. Come Where's on. the free Coca campaign? Everybody... Only y'all screaming free him because y'all like his music. <laughs> Where's the free Coca campaign? Nah, don't do that. Don't do that. Bro. If I said, yo, when I said I was going to interview Coca, yo, they went crazy. They did. I they love his lyrics. <laughs> they love it. Yeah. I'm not going to take that away from him. But what I'm saying is he ain't no star. If A Boogie go to jail, it's going to be mad. Hey, they going to be crying. Yeah. If little TJ can see when they got caught with the fake gun. Everybody was like, please leave him alone. They ain't doing that when Coca get locked up. They like, yeah, thank God they got that dirty ass nigga up off the street. <laughs> oh the community God. ain't mad he in jail. Oh, man. Keep it a buck. The community ain't mad that he in jail. Nah, we, we miss him, man. That Come on, the don't do that. The community is not mad that Nas got shot in the head. They not mad. Ah, right, you see? I ain't I see nobody get mad because of it. They changed the whole... Uh, Who? They changed the whole dynamic of New York drill rap. Now you can't even go on on the radar oh. and diss anymore. You gotta. Who did that? I Oka? guess. I think. Uh, oh, Nas like, getting shot in the head after after T Dot and Nas went through their situation. They changed the landscape, man. What's T Dot? T Dot. Uh, oh, oh, okay. So you saying that that changed the landscape? Right? Yeah, kind of like like you can't. You can't dislike that. They felt as if not even Drewski was jacking at. What I'm trying to tell you is this, right? Yeah. When Paparazzi Pole got shot, yeah. it was a lot of people crying. It was a lot of people hurt behind that. People made posts 
Sub Zero, all type of niggas, Zach TV, rest in peace. All these yeah. people I was working with, they came together and was like, "Yo, this is fucked up." Yeah. When I got robbed in Brooklyn, Mel's TV pulled up on me like, "Yo, bro, she messed up. This yeah. shit is fucked up." And I said, "Turn your camera on." Yeah. I said, "Turn your camera on." He yeah. came to check on me. I told nigga, "Nah, let me give you that. Let's do this." Yeah. Sure. Let me just get a tattoo. You can't interview me. This is gonna work for you. Let's work, nigga. This shit don't stop nothing. Yeah. That's how we was locked in. Cause he like, oh shit, this nigga. He he fuck with me. He wanna give me the first interview. Yeah. I, I know what I be doing when I be fucking with y'all. I be wanting to turn y'all niggas up. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I ain't really putting on no music, nigga. I know that interviews like this is just gonna add to the more masterpieces that y'all got. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, and if I fuck with you, I'm gonna come get next to you. Yeah. Like. I ain't hit you. I mean, you ain't hit me up, nigga. I hit you up. Yeah. And I can say that on camera because, nigga, it's the truth. A lot of niggas go off cap. Like, I'm so hot. P had the interview. Yeah, yeah. No, I said, yo, I'm out here. What's up? Yeah. Nah, and I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? So, if I fuck with you, I fuck with you. It's not like, I'm not like them other niggas. The niggas be frying. Like, yeah, I'm so hot. P Films had the interview. Yeah, yeah. P Films wanted to know something and he probably said and shout out to Coca, Free Coca, he gonna come home soon and he gonna put out more freestyles and we gonna love it. I think he should reach out to Smack URL and start doing that <laughs> because he can't make a hit record. <laughs> but he's definitely a good rapper. Yo, you ain't give nobody a real compliment today, man. Every so, compliment. So, all right, so ask me who's my favorite artist. Right who's now? your favorite artist? Right now, what, in New York, Drew? I would love to period? know in New York, that's not YG or Hound, who's your favorite artist? Look, he is stuck. No YG, no hell. He said, yo, bro, next question. No, ain't no next question. They not YG or hell. Not YG. Favorite? Yeah. Be love. Buddy right, love. You see, man, yo, we wrapping this love. interview my up, son. man. You... My son is my favorite rapper, my son. <laughs> Buddy yeah, love. Ain't, ain't not one compliment that today. That is a compliment. That nigga's top five. I remember we was arguing over who hot out of him and Dougie B. Who's, who's, who is your top five? Eat out, baby. Eat out, baby. Okay. Jiggy man. D thing, K flop, and it's a toss up between B Love and Dougie B. Mm. Those are the hottest niggas to me. That's just to me. Yeah. When I hear, uh, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm waiting for Jiggy Man to say that. Yeah, yeah. I'm waiting for Jiggy Man to say that. Mm -hmm. Like, I got, he, if he don't say, uh huh, he failed me. Yeah. If he don't <laughs> get Jiggy, he, he if he me. don't wear the, the fucking triple fat goose coat, he fails me. <laughs> we want the Jiggy Man the way he is. Yeah. Buddy Love. If he doesn't drop a diss record against me or my friends, he failed me. Yeah. We love to hear Buddy Love talk that shit. Why you calling him your sons for? Why you do that? That is my son. Why though? Like what why, why, why it can't just be I like B Love's music? Why I have to be I love my son? Because he was my music. son before he made music. How? I used to be around them. That's all I'm going to say, man. Out of respect for his mother, that's all I'm going to say. Oh, too far. Oh, yo. I, yo, oh, my man. What, you, why you want me to get up here and lie to you? I'm what do you mean by that? Because I'm not going to disrespect nobody in his family. But B-Love was my man. Not my man. He was my son before he started rapping. I used to be around B-Love. That's all I'm going to say. I can show you pictures and everything. Why you think I bother him all the time? I already know the nigga. And he can he, confirm this. He hates me. He's going to tell you he never met me, but he's lying. He's going to say that because he has to all say right. that. Cause Why was you around him? him? What was you doing around him? All right, so my, my little cousin hangs with him. He's OGs. Okay. So I used to hang with my little cousin, and they used to all be in the crib smoking and shit. And I used to come in there and fuck with them. Yo, what up, little niggas? Ah, what's up, little niggas? What's up, niggas? Ah, you know what I'm saying? But this before he was OGs though. He was just a nigga from Third Avenue back then. Mm. Like he was just hanging with like a different group of niggas that kind of migrated to the projects eventually. Wait, I thought B Love was actually from Cortland though. Nah, he's not from Cortland. B Love actually was from Southside and then he moved to Cortland. Okay. But okay, I don't even yeah. think he moved to actually Cortland. I think he moved to Third Avenue. Gotcha. Which is clicked up with Cortland. It's like couple of blocks up. Like, they all play basketball together. Like, gotcha. I think they all together under the B. Diddy Act. 
Like, this was all they men from playing basketball, and they all balling like Diddy. Like, okay. that's what I think happened, because the little niggas, they was not jacking OGs when I was around. Like, and I could show you footage of me with them when they was little kids, like. Like, how old was B-Love at that time? Well, like, um, 15? How old is B-Love right now? I'd probably say 20. Matter of fact, he just... He, His he birthday just, just passed, right? Yeah. Um, Happy birthday, man. Yo, you see this guy, man? Everything is a joke, man. It's not a joke. I wish him a happy birthday. Nah, but I want to see him succeed. I feel like he's not consistent enough. I feel like that his like I feel like he got something going on in his life that's kind of distracting him. Whether it's a kid or a couple of his men's getting locked up, it's kind of draining. I don't know, but I feel like he should drop more. He turned twenty three. He's twenty three now. So Buddy Love is twenty three. Yeah. I was hanging with Buddy Love in 2018. Okay. So that's like five, five years ago. ago. So he was like 13. No, 23, you said? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 18. Oh, yeah. So he was like 18, 18 17, 18. Yeah. They was all little. B Dot, Jiggy Man, them niggas all little niggas. Mm. They was cool, too. They was funny. I used to like him. Uh, they never told me they was YGK till later on. I used to be with them a lot. I'm talking about a lot. Like, I used to be at that house where they was hanging at a lot at that time. Who else was in that house? Like, who would it? It was B Doc, Jiggy Man, B Love. You wasn't just with the. You wasn't just with them. No, I was with my little cousin <laughs> that be with them. I Actually, two of my cousins be with them. Yeah, they both OGs. Got you. Like they don't like me no more and all that because I be going at it with B Love. Like my own cousins, they don't fuck with me. But when they was young, yeah. when they used to look up to me, when I was like hot, you know, at that time, it was cool. Like, I'm their cousin. Like, yeah. Yo, man, That's listen. All I know is the Bronx, I see a lot of people who's related who be no, going at it. The, my cousins used to be with him, and I used to be chilling with my little cousin sometimes. Or I'll be giving him shit, like, you know. Like, I pull up on him, yo, bro. Yo, uh, yo, I'm about to go see this bitch, yo. Let me hold that. All right, I got you. Yeah. Niggas used to be there. Man, yo, Poe. Yeah. We've been here with like two, three hours, man. I don't know, but. Just help me, man. When you wanna be, when you wanna hear the truth that ain't Boogie is Michael Jackson, <laughs> then call me back. Yo, listen, man, uh, is there anything you wanna tell the people that we didn't talk about? I'm not man? YG no more. And my name is not Poe. Just my name is Paparazzi. Right. I'm an entertainer. That means if I got to make a hot song, I'm going to make it. If I got to tell jokes, I'm going to tell them. Mm -hmm. If I got to do interviews, I'm going to do it. If I got to do acting, I'm going to do it. I'm an entertainer. There you go. So please leave me alone. I I had enough beef over my father. I had enough beef over my mans. I had enough beef over my baby mother. I don't want nothing to do with that. Mm. I'm good. I ain't going to be the aggressor. If, if some shit happened with me and the op, that's because he, you know. He pushed up on you. Yeah. I don't want no problems. Got you. Listen, yo, Poe, I appreciate your time. You gave a whole lot of uh, underhanded compliments, but um, you gonna say that because you cool with these dudes? I'm not. Let don't me tell do you that. About Coca Jigger, the nigga with the dildo in his mouth. Ah, oh, come he on. The Listen, he sucked the vibrator. His girlfriend told me she sent me the video. I bought her Jordans. You know what's going on with me and TT. You heard the song. You know it. Listen. Coca Jigger, if he keep the vibrators and dildos out of his mouth, he might be able to make a hot song. Yo, Bo, Or listen. if he come home and diss me. Because every time he diss me, it blows. <laughs> but y'all, I guess y'all just dislike one another, man. No, I actually like him. He lied about robbing me. He Bo, never touched me. come on, man. He never touched me, bro. I swear to my kids. And I don't want to speak too much on it on who actually... Did something to me, but it was not him. I, I, so when he came to the internet, act like he did it. That's what started the problem. Got you. It's, it was never a problem. That was he was all right, you know. His oh, girlfriend man. just liked me. She used to say like, "You too cute to be smoking cigarettes." Like, what kind of girlfriend says that? Like, my girlfriend gonna tell you, "You too yeah, cute to be smoking cigarettes." Yeah, that's kind of crazy. That's probably why I mean, you know he don't like me. Cause we was high. Did I was bringing that nigga out on shows. I did it uh, inspire you to stop smoking cigarettes though? Nah, only once in the blue I still smoke them. Okay, okay, like, okay. Once in the blue, like, like if you ask me, like, oh, how many cigarettes you smoke a day? Might be like two. Okay, okay, got you. Like I gotta really be annoyed, like real annoyed, 
Oh, I got to be super drunk. Like, oh my God, I'm so drunk. Let me just see that. Like, yeah, I can't be like, I don't just be like chain smoking and shit. Gotcha. Gotcha. But right. free coca. Right. Um, shouts to Michael Jackson. <laughs> um, Lil TJ's Tito Jackson. Um, who else? The, the, you know, be love, child. Buddy love, happy birthday, son. I love you. You're doing so good. You're, doing, you're making me so proud. You look just like me. Um, what else? <laughs> yo, man. <laughs> what else? I truth. can't, yo. It's the truth. He looks just like me. <laughs> <laughs> yo. He does. Hey, yo, man. Yo, Po, listen, man. I appreciate right. your time. Yo, we out of here. Now, real talk, though. Um, I got to give my flowers to you before we go. Cause, appreciate you. Because nah. I came back to New York and they said I couldn't, right? Nah, that's a fact. Oh shit! He's look out here. Look, look, Dick, look at that. He's you out here. He wasn't coming to Arizona. Yo, I bro, I pay you to do that. You want to do a Skype interview? Yo, listen. Yo, I'm back, but I don't want no problems. I'm scared to death. I'm scared to death. I'm shaking right now. I'm scared to death of New York. I ain't listen. even post a picture since I've been here. I'm so scared. Listen, nah, word though. These I, niggas I, I, is crazy <laughs> out here, bro. Nah, I want to say though, like I really appreciate you. Like people like you, who like even give me the opportunity to sit down with y'all. Like y'all don't have to, and um, y'all the reason why the platform is what it is. I appreciate you that you. And I don't feel like that. I don't feel like I. I play any part in P films being P films, but now you do. Man. I appreciate uh, you for even giving me credit for something because niggas don't never do that. <laughs> you see how much credit I gave out? <laughs> I gave out so much credit today. Niggas yeah. won't never say the truth like yo, Poe inspired me. They gonna say Dirk. Nigga, you ain't never meet Dirk, nigga. Yeah. What you talking about? Yeah. Fuck that nigga. People, it's hard for people to uh, speak on the people in their community. No, uh, that that other people frown upon. That's true too. Instead of standing yeah. up for their man, they don't want to be a part of that. So they yeah. say, "My favorite rapper is Dirk." They're choosing, and, and I thought that too. I was like, "Damn, how's everybody favorite rapper? Somebody who's not from New York? Like, really?" So all of y'all was inspired by people not from New York. Like y'all just, it's all right. I you mean, know? I can't be mad at them because I was. Well, I can't even say that. I'll take that back too. Yeah, I wait. love to say Tupac, but he was from Harlem too. Wait, I, but I'm pretty sure there was somebody from New York you liked. You know what I'm saying? Like, is they sometimes yeah, I, when I ask Mason, them, Mason Cam. yeah, they be like Those nobody. Niggas, you niggas, know, niggas, I, I, I don't know. I man. even used to like gym music. I used to. Uh, like, but after what he diary, said, nah, fuck that. Nah, fuck what he said. Um, after Hustler's poem, I don't really see him making nothing like. Got you. Besides, you know, we set the trend. It's certain songs. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, Jim yeah, catch yeah. one every now and then. But the gym where I liked every song he put out, like the 05 gym. Yeah. The 04 gym. Yeah. Like, from, from, from certified, no, not certified gangsters. From, what song? A little bit before certified gangsters. Like, mm -hmm. when Jim started getting on his pop shit. Like, he started rapping like pop. Yeah. You that, think so? That, you that feel like he, you gym. feel like he reminds you of pop? Nah. Hell no. Fuck no. So why you say he started rapping like Pac? Because he did. Go listen to his first album. It sounds like a Tupac album. The Hustle. Bro, what is it called? Um, On My Way to Church. I mean, I I, I don't... I've never he heard that. from the same club. You never heard those songs? He did all them Tupac remakes. So you feel like... Come on, Paul. What? You see what you're doing? Like, I'm saying that he You was, feel like the whole mimicking. album was him mimicking Pac. No, not mimicking him, but like his style at that time was yeah. like that. Inspired by Pac? Yeah, like at that time. Are you saying it in a in a respectful way? Are yes, you saying it in an underhanded... one of my favorite rappers. What, that's what gravitated me to Jim. He became J Tupac for a little while. All right, like, you see... He did. Why you gotta say he became Tupac for a little while? Because Why can't as just far be as like, inspiring me, like he the style, the, the lingo, like everything bro, Jim was got... doing at one point in time. Everybody was following, bro. Jim was the nigga who we followed at one point in time. Yeah, no, nah, and think, I'm gonna say think, that from the bottom of my heart. Bro. I think, I think, Dipset, nigga, I was Dipset before I was really Dipset. Yeah, I, like, nah, that was I'm my religion. Me. Yeah, like I'll tell you that. Like, yeah, nigga, I'm dipset. Like, and I ain't know them niggas at that point. Yeah. So yeah, Jim made me gang bang harder. 
he was talking that big homie blood shit. I was jacking it like yeah. that gym. Like, but then I don't know. You know, times change. Times change. But he was definitely like, what? You crazy? <laughs> 04, 05, 03, 06, yeah. all the way up to like 08. I was I was rooting like until like after Harlem. I think I when he when him and Max departed, yeah. that's when I was kinda like, I don't know if I like this anymore. Wow. What 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 was it about that, that shit time? It was like breaking up the perfect marriage. Like Jim and Max was like, we all love that duo, you know? Yeah. It yeah. was like, why would you fuck that up? Or well, however it went. Let me yeah. make it say it and jump out the window for niggas that I don't know their situation. Yeah, never Free know who it was. And, you know, shout out to Jim. I just liked you better when you was hungry. Mm -hmm. Now you just, you know, it's your career. You're doing it. But, like, I feel like that Jim from the gutter that was arguing with the, with the fucking... The, the, the security guards in front of the clubs and, yeah. and pulling up his pants, getting ready to get it on and giving orders and niggas was really listening and niggas was really moving militant and niggas was really like, yeah. that was my hero like at one point in time. Like, yeah, that nigga Chim, that nigga like that. <laughs> you know I mean? Then he got caught on the phone saying some other shit and then he was still home. I was like, I don't know about that. Come on, man. I don't know about that. You see, not my business. This is the same thing Wack 100 was saying. Talking about he's on the phone, saying this and that. I Listen, a lot of people don't agree. You, you heard what my manager said, right? He said, I don't agree with everything Poe was saying, but mm -hmm. I do know what he's talking about. I don't agree with everything that Jim do, mm -hmm. but it doesn't take away from him inspiring me at one point in time in my life. I was there you go again. and there I you, didn't know Jim at the time. There you go again. But I looked up to him at one point in time. But then you're saying because he was caught on the phone. No. It was, like I said, when him and Max broke up, I yeah. was kind of moving away. The phone call thing made me wonder. Yeah. Like, damn, like that's kind of steep. If I just feel like if I was on the phone, I'd have been in jail. That's just how I feel. It's just a personal thing. So what do you feel? You, you What do you feel like he did to stay out of jail? Don't do that, man. Don't do that. He got money. I don't know. Don't what they, what's do the that, excuses man. they be saying? He got money. What they be saying? He got a good lawyer. I, I, don't. I don't think he said enough. And he said anything. I think he said things that can be questioned. But I don't think he said things that are definitive okay. to what you're saying could have no, be the I, case. No, I'm not saying it could be the case. I'm just saying it made me feel funny. Okay. Like if that's just me. Like, personally, like me, like, being once being a fan yeah. and seeing him make a mistake like that, like, it was like, I don't know how, how to take this. Because this is in, it's, it's conspiracies and shit going on, and I know how that shit go. Yeah. So, I, it made me, like, damn, like, scratch my chin a little bit. Like, kind of yeah. want to look into this. But I, I mean, didn't, though. I mean, look, you know, for the people that don't know, we was going back and forth before... <laughs> About this, I don't think violating someone means death or a, a hit. I don't believe that. It could mean anything in the court of law. And because we on camera, I'm going to say the same thing because I don't want him to ever go to jail. But <laughs> that phone call made me wonder, yeah. what the fuck is going on here? Because I feel like personally, if it was me on the phone, I would be in jail. Cause you would've probably said, yo, when y'all see him, y'all better. <laughs> nah, I, mean, I ain't having those kind of conversations on the phone. Nah, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm nah, playing. I know. Word, I'm just, word. I'm scared of that phone. But, but yo, Poe, again, man, I appreciate you for your time. I appreciate you for having me. Thank you, um, thank you. And, um, whenever, uh, whenever nobody's here, you know I had to come like four in the morning when nobody was here. Nah, word. I was scared. Ah, uh, come Listen, on, don't do that. Whenever nobody's here, just hit me up. I'll slide through the back door, bro. Word up. Yeah, I'm, back, I'm back in New York now. I'm scared of that. Yo, Poe, until next time, man. All right, bet.